sweetheart, we have to go. Our flight leaves in an hour. Ben? Ben? Ben, sweetie, we have to go. Say your last goodbyes. Now it's time to go to Brookhaven for forever. But mom, I don't want to leave Liftopia. All of my friends are here. What if I never see them again? I promise you'll love Brookhaven and maybe you'll even make some new friends. I guess so, but it'll never be the same. What if the kids in Brookhaven don't like me? Not like you? Who wouldn't like you? Now, come on. We'll stop and get some ice cream on the way to the airport. Okay, I guess you're right, Mom. Okay, let's go. Brookhaven, here we come. The next morning. Good morning, my little angel. Dad, you're home. I thought you were on a business trip for another week. I decided to come home early just to spend the weekend with you. I couldn't wait any longer. I am so excited for so much fun. Can you please take me for ice cream after school today? Of course, sweetheart. Anything for you. Yay! I made your favorite for breakfast, so get ready and come down and eat. We don't want you to be late for school. Okay, coming, Dad. Sky, hey, girly. Hey, Kenzie. Are you super happy that your dad's home? Am I ever? I missed him so much. So good to see you, Sky. Please sit down and have breakfast. I made extra. Don't mind if I do. Thanks so much, Mr. McKenzie. I love you, Kenzie. Have a great day. Moments later. Ugh, another day, another boring class. Why can't anything new and exciting ever happen? I know, right? School's really starting to feel like a waste of time. Ooh, Kenzie, look. Josh is over there. Ugh, whatever. I don't even care anymore. What do you mean, Kenzie? Josh has been the love of your life ever since, like, kindergarten. I know, right? I've been in love with him for so long, and he's never even tried to hang out with me. I'm starting to think he doesn't even like me back. Forget about him, Kenzie. Boys are stupid anyways. Don't waste any more of your energy if he's not going to return the favor. But if I don't like him, then who else is there? I'm not going to have a crush on Mike. He picks his nose. Yeah, and Derek farts a lot. Ew, gross. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Let's go to class. We'll talk about that later. All right, class. Before we get going in today's lesson, I would like to introduce you to your newest classmate all the way from Livtopia, Ben. Oh, my gosh. Who is that? His name is Ben, Ashley. The teacher just said that. Ugh, shut up, Ayla. Get your eyes off of him. He's mine. Kenzie, he's the most beautiful boy I've ever seen. He is pretty cute. Ugh, whatever. Boys are stupid. Ben, you can come sit beside me. Wait, Ben, take my seat. I want to sit over here anyways. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Psst. Hey, what's your name? Uh, are you talking to me? Yeah, silly. Who else would I be talking to? Uh, my name's Mackenzie. Psst. Kenzie, I think he likes you. All right, class, settle down and turn your textbooks to page 32. A lot of boring math later. Kenzie, forget about Josh. You should talk to Ben. Really? But what about you? What if you want Ben to be your boyfriend? Boyfriend? No way, girly. I don't have time for a boyfriend. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel right now. Oh, yeah, right. Well, maybe we'll talk at lunchtime or something. Hey, losers! Sorry, Ashley, but that's not our names. We only answer to Sky. Kenzie. Ha, <laughs> you nerds don't deserve to be called by your real names. Anyways, I just came over here to let you know that Ben is mine, so don't talk to him or even look at him. Got it? I bet he doesn't even know your name, Ashley. Whatever. See you losers later. I'm going to talk to my future husband. Hey, Ben. Cute name. Is it like short for Benjamin or something? Uh, no, it's not short for anything. It's just Ben. Oh, wow. So unique. Wow, I love it when guys are different. Anyways, you want to come eat lunch with me today? Uh, no thank you. Huh? Why not? I'm the prettiest and most popular girl in all of Brookhaven. Uh, because I don't like you? <gasps> well, then you're just stupid and you don't know what you're missing out on. By the way, I never liked you either. I just felt bad since you have no friends and you're the new kid in school. I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, Kenzie, did you just see that? That was so embarrassing. Right? Well, she got what she deserved. Kenzie, Ben is coming our way. Oh my gosh, do I look okay? How does my breath smell? <sighs> Ew, it smells like farts. Farts? Oh no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Got you. Ugh. Hey, Mackenzie. Oh, uh, hey, Ben. How are you liking Brookhaven so far? Well, it's 
going great now that I met you. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. I hope this doesn't come off strong, but I think you're really pretty. Really? Me? Wow, thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I'd like to get to know you better. Would you like to go out on a date with me tonight? A date? Can I please discuss this with my best friend quickly? Um, yeah, sure. Sky, what do I do? Ben just asked me out on a date. Say yes, you idiot. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I'll go on a date with you tonight. Awesome. Here's my number. Uh, send me your address and I'll pick you up at 8. Kenzie's going on a date. Kenzie's going on a date. Oh my gosh, Sky, don't embarrass me. Sorry, I'm just so excited for you, girly. I'm really excited too. I think I really like him, Sky. Aw, that's so sweet. Come on, let's go rub it in Ashley's face. Hey, Ashley, guess who's going on a date with Ben tonight? Obviously not either of you dorks. Three hours later. Come on, Kenzie, let's go. I'll help you pick your outfit out for your date tonight. I can't believe this is happening. Me, Mackenzie Turner, is going on her very first date. Ah, oh, he's so dreamy. Snap out of it, Kenzie. We need to make sure you look like a 10 tonight. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm home. Hey, girls, how was school? It was amazing. You two ready for me to take you both to get some ice cream? Um, sorry, Dad, I can't. Can't? Why not? Um, because I'm going on a date tonight. A date? Who said you could go on a date? Who said I couldn't go on a date? Please, Dad, I really like this boy, and his name is Ben, and he's so nice. Well, I'll be the judge of that. So, does that mean I can go? Sure, as long as I get to meet him. Yeah, of course. Come on, Kenzie, we gotta get you ready. Okay, coming. Moments later. Oh. Boy, better not break my baby's heart. He won't, Dad. Don't worry. He'll probably be here any minute, so I'll get out of here. Good luck on your first date, girly. Call me after. I want to hear all the tea. Okay, bye, Sky. <sighs> I wonder when he'll be here. Oh, my gosh. That's him. All right, Kenzie. You stand here. Your mother and I will take it from here. Hello there. Please come in. Hello, Mr. McKenzie's dad man, sir. I'm here to take your daughter on a date. Hi, Ben. It's so nice to meet you. Hello, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, ma'am. I brought you some flowers. Aw, shucks. That is so sweet of you. Kenzie, I like him. Oh, the classic bring the girl's mom some flowers trick. I've used that before. Now, Ben, what makes you worthy of taking my daughter, Mackenzie, out on a date? Well, you see, I uh, really like her and think she's beautiful. I promise I'll take good care of her and have her home by 10. 10? Oh, uh, I meant 9. Yeah, 9. That's better. Well, that's very sweet of you to say, Ben. You seem like a gentleman. All right, Mackenzie, he passed the test. Have fun. Hi, Ben. Thanks for taking me out on a date. Of course. I've been looking forward to this all day. Now, come on. I'll drive us to the movies. Moments later. So, uh, what movie should we see? Don't worry. I already bought us tickets to see Frozen 2. What? How did you know I like Frozen? That's so sweet of you. Don't worry. I have my connections. You asked Sky, didn't you? Yeah, maybe. Anyways, what kind of snacks do you want? Anything you want. It's on me. Really? Are you sure? Of course. Hmm, popcorn and Sour Patch Kids, please. All right, here you go. Aw, thanks, Ben. Let's go. The movie's about to start. Later that same evening. I had such an amazing time with you tonight, Mackenzie. Me too. Thanks for such a great date. Kenzie, I know we like literally just met this morning, but but I think I'm in love with you. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, really? Absolutely. I would absolutely love to be your girlfriend. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend. I can't wait to tell Sky. Uh, hello? Sky, guess what? Kenzie, what time is it? It doesn't matter. Sky, Ben asked me to be his girlfriend. No way. Yes, way. I have a boyfriend now. I'm so happy for you, Kenzie, but can I go back to bed now? Sure, Sky. See you tomorrow. Yay. See you tomorrow. <sighs> the next day. I can't believe Ben is my boyfriend, Sky. I've always wanted a boyfriend, and now here he is. Last night was so much fun. Mm-hmm. What's wrong, Sky? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but as your best friend, I got to look out for you. I was just thinking that we don't really know anything about 
then? We just met him yesterday. I do so. Oh, yeah. Well, then what's his last name? Uh, Ben? See? Well, that doesn't mean I can't get to know him. All I know is that I really like him, and you don't have to protect me on this one, Sky. All right, then. Suit yourself. Okay, I gotta go to the washroom. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, look. There's Ben. I bet he's on the phone with Kenzie. Those two really can't be separate for even a second. <laughs> You're so funny. I can't wait to see you tonight. You and Ben are so funny. Even talking on the phone while you're in the washroom, huh? What are you talking about, Sky? I wasn't on the phone. Well, he was right here on the phone, giggling away like a little girl. I wonder who he was talking to. Oh, uh, maybe just a friend or something. Yeah, true. He probably has a lot of those. Probably one of his friends back in Livtopia. I'm sure he misses them a lot. Yeah, you're probably probably right. I just don't want you to get hurt. That's all. Don't worry, Sky. I like Ben and he likes me and there is nothing to worry about. Okay, good, girly. Hey, Kenzie. How are you? Good, now that you're here. Want to have lunch with me in the cafeteria? Yeah, of course. See you in a bit, Sky. See you later, lovebirds. Moments later. Hey, I'll go get us some pizza, Kenzie. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks, Ben. <laughs> oh, it Looks like Ben left his phone here. It's okay, Kenzie. Don't look at it. It's probably just his friends. <laughs> ah, what the heck? One look won't do any harm. I just want to see who he's texting. I love you, and I can't wait to see you tonight. Are you serious? Ben is cheating on me. I can't believe this. <laughs> Kenzie, wait. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong, Kenzie? Why are you crying? Sky, you were right. We don't know Ben. His phone was buzzing and I was curious, so I looked at it. And it was a message from a girl saying that she loves him and that she's excited to see him tonight. Oh, that cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. I knew there was something off about him. Sky, what am I supposed to do? I feel so heartbroken. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We are gonna go and get a nice little slice of revenge pie. No one makes my best friend cry and gets away with it. Revenge pie? But I only like apple pie. Anyways, here's what we're gonna do. You ready? Ready. What's the plan? We're gonna go and set his car on fire. That's a great idea. That'll show him not to mess with us. Great. Come on, follow me. I know where his car is parked. His car is right over here. <gasps> Look, Sky, he's calling me right now. Kenzie, are you all right? Why were you crying? Oh, it was just my allergies. I had to go get my allergy medication in my locker. It's okay. Uh, where are you? I got you pizza. I'm just in the parking lot. Why don't you come and meet me? All right, I'll be there right away. All right, Sky, he's on his way. Wow, nice job. Oh my gosh, my car, it's on fire. What the heck did you guys do? Well, Ben, I gave you my heart and you threw it away. How could I trust you when you went behind my back and betrayed me? Texting other girls when I was faithful? A cheater is always a cheater. Cheater? What are you talking about? I saw the text on your phone, Ben, how a girl was texting you that she loves you and she's excited to see you tonight. Mackenzie, I was texting my mom. She was gonna make us dinner at our house tonight. I was gonna invite you. Kenzie, you didn't look who the text was from? I don't know. I guess when I read it, I just got so upset that I didn't even check who sent it. You Brookhaven girls are absolutely crazy. This relationship is over, Mackenzie. I'm going home and convincing my mom to take me back to Livtopia. Well, so much for having a boyfriend, I guess. Forget about him, Kenzie. You don't need a boyfriend to be happy. You got a best friend that loves you, and that's all that matters. Yeah, you're right, Sky. I guess I'll just wait for Josh to ask me out on a date. Ugh, I'm bored. Me too. You want to play Roblox? No. You want to go skateboarding? I'm kind of over skateboarding after the whole Bam Margaret thing. What Bam Margaret thing? Just him existing. Ugh, there's nothing to do into the big school dance next Friday. Well, I heard Olivia Rodrigo is in town doing a concert. What? You didn't tell me? Oh, are you a fan? Uh, driver's license is my jam. We should totally go. But the concert hall is all the way across town. How are we going to get there? Okay, my mom won't notice if we borrow the car as long as we drive super safe. A few moments later. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. I drive cars around all the time in Roblox. How hard could it be? Well, this is quite a bit different from a video game. It'll be fine. Okay, I just need to put a little bit of pressure on the gas pedal and... Ah! Oh, boop, 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 boop. You killed your mom's car! I mean, it's not that bad. I'll just back it up into the garage. Maybe she won't notice.
Three hours later. on the couch. Now, tell me what happened. I wanted to go to a concert of my favorite artist, but it was too far away. So we got in the car, and I thought it would be like Roblox, but it was not, and I crashed the car. I'm not angry. I know, you're just disappointed. No, I'm furious. Do you know how much that car cost me? Enough that my allowance will cover it? No way, Jose. You're getting a job, and you are going to work until you've paid back repairing the car. But mom, that's not fair. And on top of that, I forbid you from going to the Brookhaven High summer dance next week. That's really not fair. You're lucky I don't kick you out of the house. Until the car is fixed, you are grounded. Ugh, but who is gonna hire a girl like me? I saw a help wanted sign at the grocery store. But that's like a million miles away. How am I gonna get there? That bike I bought you last dust in the garage. Ugh. The next day... Ugh, thank gosh, I finally made it. Why, hello there. Can I find you anything? Maybe some apples, a nice slice of pizza? How about a job? Well, aren't you straight to the point? Yes, I can give you a job. We recently had a cashier quit on us. Something about unfair working conditions. Whatever that means. Okay. Anyways, the job starts at $8 an hour, and you'll be working 10-hour shifts, and you get one 15-minute break every four hours. Sound like a deal? I guess I have to take it. Excellent. Now let me show you how the cash register works. You ring up the customers here. If they have a coupon, you punch it in here, and you pull out the cash here. Make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Great, I'll go grab your paperwork. Welcome to the Food for Fun family. I uh, didn't catch your name. It's Donald, Donald Manager, but you can just call me Mr. Manager. All right, Mr. Manager. And look, your first customer. Hi there, welcome to Food for Fun. Did you find everything you need? Nah, y'all don't sell ranch dressing. I was really a fixing for some ranch dressing to dip my chicken nuggets in. Well, I'm really Sorry about that, ma'am. We'll definitely put it on our list of items for the future. Do you have any coupons for today? Yup, one for 15% off this fizzy drink. Great, your total comes out to $20.50. Wow, look at those savings. Thanks, little lady. No problem. You know you did that wrong, right? Um, who are you? I'm Kristen. Nice to meet you. You messed up that order. Um, excuse me. I'm the one who works here, not you. It's just you entered in that coupon for the entire order. She was only supposed to get 15% off the soda pop. Whatever, weirdo. I think I'm just gonna keep doing it my own way. Suit yourself. I will. Hi there. Welcome to Food for Less. Do you have any coupons? Yes, I do. Wow, 50% off. Someone's getting a big sale. Many hours later. Wow, great first day, Mackenzie. Thank you. Now, let's see how much money we've made. Oh, <gasps> uh, Mackenzie, I'm just going through this receipt, and it looks like we gave away hundreds of dollars worth of food. What? Oh, no, you are applying discounts to the whole order, not just individual items. I told you so. Then why didn't you take over the register, Tristan? She said she could handle it on her own. This is very disappointing. I have to call our insurance guy now. Wait, you work here? Oh, did I not mention that? And you just let me mess up all day? You seem pretty confident in yourself. Ugh, you are just the worst. Aw, you're pretty cute when you're angry. Angry? I'll show you angry. Whoa, calm down there, Captain. Don't tell me to calm 
down? All right, it looks like we will be fine with our losses today. But, Mackenzie, I'm docking your pay to cover discounts. Ugh, so today was a total waste? Not entirely. At least I get to give you your new uniform. All right, I'll see you both back here tomorrow morning. Ugh, that was humiliating. Look, it's not a big deal. Everyone messes up on their first day. I mean, nobody messes up this bad, but... Ugh, you're a jerk. I'm heading home. Lucky you, so am I. Where the heck is my bike? Oh, did you park it next to the light pole? Yeah, bikes tend to get stolen out here. So now I have to walk home? I guess you do. Where are you headed? I live in East Brookhaven. So do I. You mind if I walk with you? Yes. Fine, then I won't walk with you. I'll just walk near you. Fine, but we are not talking. Suit yourself. A few moments later. Ugh, stupid boy won't leave me alone. So, Mackenzie, is it? How do you get your hair that way? Is it hairspray? I'm not talking to you. I'm guessing it's hairspray. Maybe a moose or something? Speaking of moose, have you ever been camping? I love camping. My lacrosse team goes camping every year. Dude, please be quiet. The best part about camping is the fish. Do you like fish? I like salmon personally, then carp, then tilapia. Boy, howdy do I love tilapia. Throw a little hot sauce on that bad boy and you've got yourself a fine meal. You ever had tilapia? Dude, if you say one more word, I will push you into oncoming traffic. Whoa, okay, fine. I won't say anything else. Good. But I didn't say I wouldn't sing. Please don't. Well, good for you. You look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever care to ask. Wait, is that Olivia Rodrigo? Yeah, she's pretty much my favorite singer. What? Me too. I think she's the voice of a... Generation? Whoa, I say that all the time. You know, I want to be a musician just like her. I bet you'd be great at that. Thanks. And here I was just thinking you were some boneheaded lacrosse player. And I thought you were just some stuck-up brat. Hey! You insulted me first. Okay, fine. Do you want to start over? I'm Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. I'm Tristan. So, you want to tell me why you're working at this grocery store? It's a long story. It's a long walk. Okay, so... One hour later. And so then I tried to say Dwayne The Rock Johnson stole my car. Like in Fast and Furious. Exactly. Ugh, you must think I'm totally cringe. Not at all. I think stealing your parents' car to go see a concert is actually pretty cool. Yeah, right? Besides, if you hadn't stolen that car, I wouldn't have ever met such a cool girl. Stop. You know you're pretty cool, too. Mackenzie, what? doing home so late where is your bike oh about that it got stolen stolen you get in here at once say goodbye to your friend goodbye tristan goodbye mackenzie who was that only the cutest most special boy in all of brookhaven tristan oh brother the next day oh uh, hey mackenzie oh hi tristan so, I remembered yesterday when we were talking that you said you like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. So, I, uh, got you some. Oh, uh, thanks, Tristan. They're awesome. I remember that you said you like Doritos, so I got you some. The way you eat Reese's is really cute. The way you eat Doritos is cuter. No, you're cuter. No, you're cuter. Um, excuse me, where do I find bananas? No, you're cuter. You're like the cutest. You're like a thousand puppies cute. You're like 10,000 kittens playing with baby bunnies cute. Hello, I need my potassium. Where are the bananas? Hi there, missus. The bananas are over here. Good, at least one person respects their elders. Guys, what the heck was that all about? The lady was standing there for five minutes. Sorry, Mr. Manager, we got distracted. Clearly. All right, Mackenzie. Um, looks like the store isn't getting super busy today. You can head home early if you like. Yeah, that'd be great. And don't bother coming in tomorrow either. A day off? Awesome. See you later, Cuddle Bear. Bye-bye, my little walnut. What 
are you doing? I think I'm in love. Well, you can't be in love. You need to focus on your lacrosse career and not be spending time with girls. But dad, she's really special. Don't dad me. I forbid you from seeing her. Break it off. And if you can't stop this funny business, I'll just fire her. Dad, don't. There will be plenty of time for girls after you get your lacrosse scholarship and go to college. All right. Break it off tomorrow. Okay, dad. I'll end it tomorrow. Moments later. Ah, what's that noise for? Oh, mom, I'm in love. With that boy from the grocery store? His name is Tristan, and he's super sweet. He gave me these Reese's peanut butter cups. Oi, he must be pretty special. Mom, stop. I mean it. So, I was thinking, since I've been so good at going to work, if you would let me go to the dance on Saturday. I really want to take Tristan. I don't know. Mom, please, it's super important to me. Okay, fine, but right after that, you're back to being grounded. Okay. Now, let me give you a little makeover before you ask him tomorrow. Maybe even try a little makeup. Makeup? Are you for real? I said a little makeup. Now head upstairs. This is gonna be awesome. A few moments later. How do I look? Beautiful. Do you think he'll say yes to going to the dance with me? He'd be an idiot not to. Thanks, Mom. The next day. Hey, Tristan. Mackenzie, I thought you weren't working today. I'm not. I just thought I'd come to see you. Oh, cool. Aren't you excited to see me? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Oh, well, I was thinking that if you get tomorrow off, we can go to the Brookhaven School Dance together. I don't think so. Dances are kind of lame. Well, okay, I guess we could just hang out instead. No, I don't want to do that either. What is wrong with you? Just leave me alone, okay? But I thought we were friends. We're not, okay? I don't even like Olivia Rodrigo. That was just a joke. And I think you wanting to be a musician is stupid. Stupid. What? Just get out of here, okay? Okay. One hour later. So, how'd it go? He was super mean to me, Mom. He acted like he didn't even want to see me. Aw, come here. Why are boys so mean? Because they are idiots. They're all idiots. And if that boy can't see what a wonderful, special, beautiful girl you are, then it's his loss, okay? Okay. Now, what do you say we get some ice cream? Chocolate or vanilla? How about both? I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. What in the world is that noise? It sounds like Olivia Rodrigo. And I know we were perfect, but I never felt this way for no one. Yeah, but sung really badly. And I just can't imagine how you could be so. It's Tristan. That boy who broke your heart? Leave him outside. Guess you didn't mean what you wrote in that song about me. No, I have to go talk to him. Because you said forever, now I drive alone past your streets. What do you want? I wanted to say I'm sorry. You were really mean to me. I know that. I just, look, my dad wanted me to stop talking to you. Because I need to focus on my lacrosse scholarship. And he said he would fire you if we didn't stop seeing each other. Wait, your dad is Mr. Manager Man? Yes, I'm Tristan Manager. Why didn't you tell me that before? I don't know. I guess I was embarrassed. You said my dream of being a musician was stupid. It's not stupid. I think you'd be a great musician. And that's why I used all the money I saved up from working at the grocery store and bought you this. This guitar is for me? I mean, yeah. You saw how bad I am at playing it. You're not a very good singer either. Hey! Look, you can't just come back here and buy me a guitar and expect me to forget about all the things you said. I know that. So Oh, I guess we aren't going to the dance anymore. I didn't say that. We can go to the dance as friends. I'll take it. The next day. Woohoo! This is great. All right, boys and girls. This is the last song of the night, and it's a slow jam. Grab that special person, and let's take it away. Do you want to dance as friends? Sure, as friends. You look really pretty tonight. I mean, for a friend. Yeah, you look like a cute friend too. I'm so happy we met. 
Me too. Tristan, it's time to go. Okay, Dad, I'll see you later, Mackenzie. Wait, Tristan, before you leave, there's one last thing I need to do. Mwah. Whoa, was that a friend kiss? No, no, it wasn't. See you later. Whoa, what was that all about? I think I just got my first boyfriend. Girly, tell me everything. Meanwhile, I hope you had fun in there. I did. Good, because it's the last time you'll ever see that girl. We're moving to Bloxburg. <laughs> Woohoo! Yippee! Check it out, I'm flipping. As the world turns. <laughs> it's so much fun doing flips with you, girly. For sure. I wish we could do this every day instead of school. Same. Wait, I have an idea. Let's try eating a sandwich at the same time. But what if we choke and die? Then our deaths are epic. <laughs> no thanks. I'd much rather eat a sandwich the normal way. Boring. Hey, so what did Josh want to talk to you about yesterday? It seemed very romantic. I saw nosy Ashley follow you two to get the scoop. But I didn't want to ask her about it because I don't like talking to that bully. He asked me to the school dance. I am so excited. I didn't even mind that the stupid Ashley was spying on us the whole time. She can't change this. I can't believe he asked me. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Yay. Woohoo. Yippee. Whoa. This is starting to make me tired. I know exactly what will help with that. Let's go get lattes. A few moments later. So what do you think I should wear to the school dance? I was thinking of going super modern and wearing a floral pantsuit. But then again, I love pretty dresses so much. That is so super funny because I was also thinking of wearing a pantsuit. Bessie Bray tonight. I am so happy right now. I feel like nothing could bring me down. Oh my gosh, Candy, look over there. Isn't that Ashley and Josh? Oh my gosh, yeah, we should go over and say hi. Wait, let me fix my hair quickly. Candy, this isn't good. Maybe don't look over there right now. I don't think you want to see this. Huh? What is it? about that. You see, I've kind of changed my mind about the whole you and me going to the dance together thing. What? No! I mean, what? Why? I'm so sorry, Mackenzie. I didn't mean to hurt you, but I want to take Ashley to the dance now instead. Are you serious? Why? It's kind of complicated and hard to explain. I'm so sorry. It's because he likes me more loser now beat it! <laughs> You're a doofus, Josh. No one hurts my best friend and gets away Moments later. <laughs> I really thought he liked me. What's wrong with me? Why would he like Ashley more than me? At least ice cream will always be there for me. I'm like stupid boys. I'm so sorry, Mackenzie. This is super lame of him, but you know. What? It's also kind of Ashley's fault. She basically threw herself at him. And she knew that you two were supposed to go to the dance together. If anything, I'd say that Ashley's even more to blame here. True. It is kind of her fault. Right? Yeah, and she deserves some good old karma. Yeah! I'm gonna get her back. Yeah, that's it. It will be like Kill Bill. I'll have my revenge against Ashley. Thanks, guy. That made me feel so much better. Now, let's get to planning. Ooh, I got the best first idea. Ooh, what is it? Watch this. Hey, TikTok, it's me, your girl Mackenzie. I'm just checking in to give you a warning here about a certain girl we all know. Ashley. I just saw her at Starbucks and let me tell you, her breath smells like barf. Like the kind of barf that you barf at an amusement park when you go on a roller coaster too soon after lunch. So, steer clear of Ashley and her barf breath. Love you, TikTok. Oh my gosh, that was so, so good. <laughs> barf breath? You're a comedic genius. Everyone is gonna be calling her barf breath at school now. Yeah, I bet Josh won't want his 
normal mouth around her barf mouth anymore. The next day. Oh my gosh, I wonder if she saw the TikTok. I wonder if Josh saw it. Hopefully he realizes he doesn't want to bring all the barf breath into the dance. <laughs> Why is it still so funny to me, barf breath? <laughs> Ashley, you look so pretty today. Thanks, Joshy. You look pretty too. Pretty handsome. Dang it, I guess no one at school saw it. Ugh, I really need to get more followers on TikTok. Wait, I have another idea. Why don't you steal her homework? Look, her locker is right over there. I can break in and I know her code because I borrowed her hair dye once like three months ago. Oh my gosh, brilliant, Sky. I knew I was besties with you for a reason. Moments later. All right, class, I'm gonna come around now and collect your homework. Yes, the moment we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is gonna be so good. Um, Mr. Teacher Min, sir. Yes, Ashley. I can't And did your dog eat that person afterwards? What? What? I don't have my homework. That's okay, Ashley. Well, somebody volunteer to help Ashley redo her homework. Yeah, I'll do it. I'd love to help Ashley. What? How? Ugh. Don't worry. I have another idea. Meet me in the cafeteria at lunchtime. One hour later. All right. Ashley should be here any moment now. Cool. What's the plan, Sky? Here's her food tray. Quick, spit on it. Puh. All right. Now we'll bring it over to her. Here's your lunch, Ashley. Thanks for my lunch, loser. Looking forward to you serving me for many years to come. Yeah, whatever. Whoa, your burger looks super juicy. Yum, it's super tasty. It's honestly one of the best burgers I've ever eaten. So, did it work? No, apparently she likes the taste of your spit. What? That's so weird. Yeah, totally. Ugh, why is it impossible to get revenge on Ashley? What's this I hear about wanting revenge on Ashley? Later that night. So, you want to get revenge on Ashley, do ya? Yes, Ayla, I think that's been really clear through my actions. All right, I can help you. The best way to get revenge on Ashley is to copy everything that she does. You see, Ashley is obsessed with being original. So, her feeling like someone else is exactly the same as her will shake her to the core. Really? Yup, but you have to know everything exactly the same. That means wearing the same dress to the dance, the same makeup, the same hairdo, and copying everything she says and does. Well, that's easy enough, but can I ask you something? Shoot! Why are you helping me? Because ever since her and Josh have been lovey-dovey, she has not been giving little poor Ayla any attention, so I'm mad at her. Oh, okay. What? I don't know. I just thought it would be a little bit more complicated than that. Nope. Now go. Get out of my house. I'm growing tired of your basic ways. Bye with us. Toodles. Later that night. Keep your head down. Ashley's parents are going to see us. Sorry. My neck was starting to hurt. Oh my gosh. There. I see it. That must be the dress she's planning on wearing. Yes. I know exactly where to buy that. I saw it at the store the other day and I actually almost bought it. To think I could have ended up wearing the exact same dress as her on accident. <laughs> Mackenzie, I know it was my idea to get revenge on Ashley, but don't you think maybe it's going a little too far now? You didn't even care that my neck started to hurt. We're not even focusing on having fun at the dance anymore. It's just all about her. Trust me, if this works, we will definitely be having fun at the dance. I don't know. I'm scared that you're the one who's turning into a bully. The next day. Hey, babe, I'm gonna go over there and get us some punch, okay? Okay, Joshy, don't be too long. Look, there she is. Yes. Sky, finally! Are you sure about this, Kenzie? Of course I'm sure. Come on, let's go! Hey, Ashley! What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Are you copying me? Are you copying me? Whoa, this is weird! Come on, Josh, let's get away from her! Come on, Josh, let's get away from her! Wait, I'm confused. Which one of you am I trying to get away from? Her! Her! Ah, oh, you are so immature! Oh, you're so immature! So Z, 
See, I used to think that you were a nice girl, but now I'm not so sure. That really wasn't a very nice thing to do. Yeah, bestie, you know I love you and I've always got your back, but some things I just can't really get behind. Oh, come on. You've all seen how Ashley has made my life horrible so many times. And the one time I decide to get her back, you all can't get behind it? What the heck? I don't know, but I'm going to go find Ashley and see if she's okay. Yeah. Moments later. Right, nobody even cares that I'm the one that's hurt here. They all care about Ashley. Mackenzie, is that you? Leave me alone. You don't even care about me or my feelings. You just want to comfort stupid boy stealing Ashley. That's not true, Mackenzie. I love you. I just feel like maybe this time you let things get slightly out of hand. Look, I know you're right. I could feel the revenge idea taking over. And I felt almost powerless to stop myself from following through with it. Five minutes later. And the winner for the best dress at this year's Brookhaven High is... Hey, uh, can I have that microphone for a sec? But I'm uh, just about to announce this year's best dress. Just give it to me. Okay, here you go. Attention classmates and fellow attendees. If you didn't know, my name is Mackenzie. And I have a few things that I need to confess to you tonight. You see, I was mad because I liked a boy and I saw him kissing someone else. But the truth is... I own him or her or anyone and I don't have the right to try to control and manipulate what they do. Ashley, I made a mean TikTok about you. I stole your homework. I spit on your food and I went even as far as copying your outfit to the school dance. And for all of that, I am so, so sorry and I promise to do better next time. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me and thank you everyone for your time. Now, let's get back to what you all came here for dancing. You spit my food and stole my homework? worth a shot. I thought that was really cool what you did back there, Mackenzie. And that was probably really hard to do. May I have this next dance? Oh, Josh, of course. I would love to dance with you. Amazing, bestie. And now you're back to being the Kenzie we all know and love. Love you, girly. Love you too, girl. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Gonna pop like trouble breaking into your heart like that. Um, Mr. Mayor? Sure. Knock next time. Sorry, sir. There's someone here to see you. All right, let them in. Hello, sir. My name is Alistair McClure. Okay, what's this all about? Vampires. Vampires? Vampires. Okay, what about them? I have it on good authority that Brookhaven will be overrun by vampires in one week's time. I am here to offer my services, which are vampire hunting, of course. I also I also hunt werewolves, Frankensteins, mummies, and chupacabras, but that costs extra. Oh, haha. -ha. Well, we'll definitely be in touch with you if we see any vampires running around. Do not blow me off, sir. This is a very serious matter. Oh, trust me, I know. Do you need parking validation for your unicorn? <laughs> this is no joke, sir. The vampires will come. They will feast on your young, and then I'll be the one laughing. Do me a favor, Cheryl. Stop letting crazy people into my office. Yes, of course, sir. Now, lock that door. I've got to work on my karaoke. One week later. So, what are your plans for the weekend? Well, I wanted to watch a monster movie marathon. You know, like Creature from the Black Lagoon, Nosferatu, Dracula. You mean the vampire? Ugh, vampires are so lame. What do you mean? They're not even scary. I mean, you can't walk outside. They're afraid of garlic. Like, come on. I guess so. Whoa, what's going on over there? 
Oh my god, look at the new kid. Hey buddy, didn't you get the memo? My chemical romance hasn't been cool for years. Well, I bet you've never been cool. What was that, you dork? I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'll do what I want when I want. I'm only gonna warn you once. Oh, this guy thinks he's tough. I'll show you tough. Whoa, the new kid knocked out Chet. I didn't want to. Let's get out of here, Sky. I hate watching boys beat each other up. I think it's kind of cute. Gross. 20 minutes later. And so, if you want to find the square root of a number, we must use the following exponent formula. Psst, Sky, what are you doing? I got past the child lock on my phone and downloaded Roblox. What? You're playing Roblox in class? Yeah. No fair. I want to play. No, it's my phone. Just for 30 seconds? Fine, here you go. Awesome. Uh -oh. Mackenzie Turner, do you know the punishment for playing on your phone in class? Uh, a stern talking to? No attention. After school, be there. Hey, Boy, I'm glad I wasn't playing on my phone. A lot of boring math later. Um, is this attention? I've never been here before. Take a seat. You're stuck here for the next three hours. Hi, my name's Kieran. I know who you are and it is not nice to meet you. Ouch, what I do? I saw you fighting before school. You've got bad news written all over you. What can I say? I attract trouble. Ha! <laughs> Does that line work on all the girls? Look, I have no intention on wanting to be friends with someone who picks fights. What about someone who stops them? What do you mean? Earlier this morning when I was fighting Jock Chuck? Chet. Whatever. The only reason I got in that fight was because he was picking on a nerdy kid named Melvin. Aw, I love Melvin. We were married for a bit. What? It's a long story. It happened last week. Okay, well, anyways, this jock was picking on Melvin, and I knew he couldn't protect himself, so I protected him instead. Okay, well, that doesn't make you so bad, but I still think I don't want to be friends. Suit yourself. Two hours later... Ugh, oh, this is so boring. Even the teacher's falling asleep. You want to listen to some music? Ugh, I bet you listen to some lame music. I don't know. Is my chemical romance lame? Ooh, I love my chemical romance. They're so old school. Here, I've got a headphone splitter we can share. They're just so emotional. I know, like me. One hour later. All right, that's it for detention. You two are free to go. Well, it was nice meeting you, Kieran. Likewise. I know I thought you were like some bad news, but you're you're actually a cool guy. Would you want to hang out sometime? How about now? I'm very hungry. I could eat. Moments later. And then I nursed that baby fawn back to hell. Wow, that's so kind of you, Kieran. What was I supposed to do? That deer lost its mother. You seem like such an old soul for a 12-year-old. It almost feels like I've been 12 for a 100 years. All right, kiddos, I got some steak dinner and pizza. Eat up and don't run out on the track. Yum, I love steak. Oh. Are you okay, Kieran? You don't look so good. Waitress, is there garlic in this pizza? Only like one clove. I'm sorry. I'm very allergic to garlic. Get this away from me. Jeez, relax. You should tell people when there's garlic in things. It's okay. We should just go. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's okay. One time my mom slept broccoli inside my mac and cheese and I flipped out. A few moments later. Well, it was nice having dinner with you. Thanks for walking me home. You never know what danger lurks around the corner. Ha, there's not much danger here in Brookhaven. Alas, I have found you, foul demon. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Be gone, bloodsucker, be gone. We better run. What the heck? My silver bullets will fly true. Get away from us, you psycho. I'm here to save you, young girl. Here, jump on my back. What? Just trust me. How are we running so fast? I'll get you next time, vampire. Moments later. All right, here you are. Good night, Mackenzie. Wait, what? You weren't just going to leave me here without explaining what just happened. Um, I'm really good at running. I don't believe that for one second. If I tell you the truth, you'll be afraid of me. Try me. I can't. Look, Kieran, I promise whatever you tell me, it will not scare me. Okay, I am a vampire. Vampire? They always freak out like that. Later that night. Sky! Ah! Stop screaming! Well, stop jumping into my room in the middle of the night! I'm sorry, but I need to tell you something. What's up? Don't remember that boy who was beating up 
Ted at school? The one who looks like he robbed Hot Topic? Yes, that one. So we meant attention and really hit it off. And we went to dinner and long story short, he's a vampire being chased by a vampire hunter. What? Yeah. How do you know he's actually a vampire and not just some god kid playing pretend? When we were attacked by the vampire hunter, he ran superhumanly fast. Whoa. Did he try to suck your blood? No. Well, it sounds like he tried to protect you. Maybe he isn't so bad. I mean, I think vampires are kind of romantic. And if he's being hunted, he probably needs your help. I guess you're right. Why don't you talk to him tomorrow? All right, I will. The next day. Hey, Kieran, enjoying a hamburger? I hope there's no garlic in there. There isn't. I double checked with the cafeteria lady. Why are you talking to me? I thought you were scared. I was, but now I'm not. Can we talk somewhere more private? Sure. Moments later. So I just wanted to tell you that I'm okay with you being a vampire. You are? Yeah, I mean, I was pretty spooked last night, but I feel like you're a pretty nice guy and you didn't try to suck my blood or anything. Right. Why didn't you try to suck my blood? We vampires have been around a long time. In the past 50 years, we've created a serum that takes away our need to suck blood. And is that why you can still be out in the sunlight? Exactly. People have given vampires a bad rap. That's why I always have to be wary of vampire hunters like Alistar. Well, your secret is safe with me. That's good. And my best friend, Sky. Hi there. So what's it like being a vampire? You told somebody else? Just Sky, but you can totally trust her. No one else has to know you're a vampire. Good. Good. So, the new kid is a vampire, eh? I have to tell that kooky vampire hunter who's been running around. So, Mackenzie, what do you say we try to do take two on our date? Ooh! Shut up, Sky. Well, what were you thinking? I'll surprise you. Sounds like a plan. Meanwhile... I will find you, Kieran, and I will stab a wooden stake through your heart. Uh, is this the house of the creepy vampire hunter? This is the house of Alistair McClure. Yup, that's it. So I've got some news for you on where that vampire you've been hunting is at. Excellent. Gather an angry mob. We're going vampire hunting tonight. Later that night... Where are you taking me? Don't worry about it. It's a surprise. Hmm, I hear seagulls. That might have something to do with it. And I smell salt water. You're taking me to the beach. All right, well, the secret's out. Take off your blindfold. I wanted to have a romantic evening on the beach. Well, it's still a great idea, even if it wasn't a surprise. Oh, you're in for a surprise, all right. Alistair! Kieran Hemlock, as Brookhaven's self-proclaimed vampire hunter, I sent it you to death. You can't do this! Yes, I can. He is a danger to all the people of Brookhaven. He will suck the blood of your children. Now get him! If you want Kieran, you'll have to go through me. Well, that's simple. Chet, grab her. Now get the vampire. Karen, run. We'll get you, vampire. I'm not going to let you suck my blood. Oof, I think I lost them. Stop right there, Karen. What are you going to do to me? 20 minutes later. For the crime of being a vampire in Brookhaven, I sentence you to death by eating garlicky pizza. Please don't make me do this. Too late. Eat the pizza! Eat the pizza! Eat the pizza! Eat the pizza! Wait! You can't do this! He's gonna kill our families! No, he's not! The vampires have learned to adapt to human life and they no longer drink human blood! Karen is a good man, not a monster! If anything, all of you who are trying to kill him are the monsters! Huh! I guess she's right! We've all learned how to live together in this town! Why can't we learn how to live with a vampire? I guess I never thought of it that way! Let him go! What? No! We must kill the vampire! It's over, Alistar! <gasps> You've lost! It's time to move on to your next town! Oh, dang it! They never let me kill the vampire! Thanks for saving me from that angry mob! No problem, Kieran! So I guess I'll see you at school tomorrow? No, you won't! Now that everyone knows I'm a vampire, it isn't safe for me anymore! But where will you go? A place where they allow people to suck your blood. A place where they don't care if you're a nocturnal animal. A place where morals are irrelevant. So, Bloxburg? Yup, Bloxburg. It was nice knowing you, Mackenzie. I will never forget you. And just like that, he's gone. I'm sorry a new boyfriend has to go away. It's 
it's okay. That relationship would have been a lot of drama. Still, I'm thinking about writing a book of our time together. Hmm, what do you think you'll call it? I was thinking Twilight. Hey, will you be my lab partner next period? What do you mean? I mean, will you be my partner in helping me dissect gross stuff? No, I know what it means, but uh, who else would you ask? Hint taken, girly. You're right, partners for life. You got it. We don't actually have to dissect gross things, though. Hey, Mackenzie. Oh, uh, hey. Would you maybe, um, want to be my lab partner in science next period? Oh, uh, sorry. I already have one. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe next time then. Maybe. Okay, uh, bye. Bye. Girly, what is wrong with you? What? Did I get an answer wrong? Not the homework. Oh, my God. Josh has asked you to be his lab partner. Hey, Josh, and you turned him down? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not interested. Are you very okay? Do you have a fever? Oh, why? Because you're being crazy. This is Josh, the boy of your dreams. And you turned him down like it was nothing? Maybe because it is nothing? I don't know. Maybe I had a crush on him once, but I'm just not interested anymore. I can't put my finger on it, but something fishy is going on, and it's not the fish sticks in the cafeteria. Nothing fishy, Sky. I promise. Okay, then in that case, I think that it's time you get a boyfriend. Why would you say that? Because everyone else here has a boyfriend. Just because everyone has something doesn't mean you have to have it too. Ew, you sound like my mom. But it's the truth. It's not a good enough reason to do something just because everyone else is doing it. Why do you sound crabby? I'm not crabby. I know you, and you're crabby. Later that night. Hey, honey, how is school? Fine. Why is everybody on to me today? Ugh. Ooh, bad day. No. Come on, Kenzie. You know you can always tell me when something is wrong. Okay, well, I don't know. It was just something with Sky. Did you two have a fight? It's not a fight, but she kind of overstepped. How so? She keeps trying to fix me up with Josh. And what's wrong with that? I thought you liked Josh. I used to see his name written all over your notebooks. Are you kidding? She should stay out of my business. She's your best friend, honey. So you're agreeing with her. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. Okay, well, maybe I am. I just don't see the harm in what she did. She thinks I need to be set up with someone. I don't think that's a bad idea. What? It might be good for you to have a boyfriend. In fact, I know a lovely young man your age who is the son of someone I work with. What is happening? Why are you getting so upset, honey? Because everyone is just trying to fix me up. You know, some people would be flattered. Well, I'm not. I just wish you would all stay out of my private life. Meanwhile. Oh, I just don't know why they all won't just get off my back. Why is everyone just trying to fix me up with someone? Does it ever occur to them that maybe I have a boyfriend? Ugh, maybe some fresh air would do me some good. Oh, well, here goes nothing. Later that night. I'm happy you're here. Do you think this is safe or will anyone see us here? Don't worry. Nobody's gonna see us here. Besides, who would want to go get ice cream in the middle of the night? You'd be surprised. There are many nights I have woken up and wish I had ice cream. Did anyone follow you here? No. You? No. Nope. What about your sister? Oh, she's not home. I think she had, like, dance practice tonight. Good, good. I don't really think we have to worry about anyone following us. It's not that big of a secret. I'm pretty sure they call it a secret boyfriend for a reason, Asher. Aw, are you calling me your boyfriend? Ah, uh, you know I am. Why else would I turn Josh down to be his lab partner? You did that for me? Aw. Of course I did. I didn't think I'd get to see you tonight. I thought you said that you had to stay in because your mom was home. I did, but I snuck into my house. I climbed through the window. Why? Because everyone is just driving me crazy. I think there's something wrong with them. Again? Why? Well, my my mom and Sky are both trying to fix me up with someone. And I can't exactly tell them I'm already dating someone. Oh, because I... Yeah, because you're Ashley's brother and shared DNA with my bully. Is my sister really that big of a deal in your school? Oh, you have no idea. Makes sense. She's a nightmare at home, too. Something we can bond over. But I can't be your secret boyfriend forever. I want to be able to go out with you and hold your hand. We're always sneaking around and it's so not fun. I want that too, Asher. Trust me, I hate this. I just don't know how people would react, though. I don't know how Ashley would react. She tends to have a mean streak. I don't know if you've noticed. Oh, I have noticed. I'm one of her victims. I mean, it's not only Ashley and Ayla, but it's Sky too. But if people keep trying to fix me up with someone, then we're gonna have to come clean. What exactly are you saying? I'm saying that it might be time that I 
expose you as my secret boyfriend. Are you sure? I'm not sure about anything anymore. You think Sky will like me? I'd like to think so, because I like you and you're a great guy. But I don't think it's in Sky's DNA to like anyone related to Ashley. No offense. None taken. Being your secret boyfriend is so hard sometimes. You're telling me. It's not like I want to like you so much either. When we met, I didn't even know you were Ashley's brother. And I didn't know you were Ashley's victim. But are we in agreement? For what? That it's about time to expose our relationship? Yes. Let's do it. I don't get it. Don't get what? How someone related to Ashley be so nice. I don't know. Maybe she was adopted. <laughs> the next day. Um, what are you both doing here? I live here. My bestie lives here. Okay, I'll ask in a different way. Why are you both standing in the kitchen staring at me? Guy and I had a little talk. About what? About you, girly. About you. What about me? Wait a second. Is this an intervention? You guys really think that I eat that much cotton candy that you need to stage an intervention? Relax. It's not an intervention. Yeah, it's something else. We've come to some conclusions. About what? Someone tell me before I pull my hair out. And I really, really love my long blonde hair. Okay, we'll spill. Your mama and I have been texting and... Wait, you two text? Why? Should we have a good relationship? Yeah, Mackenzie. Sky's like my other daughter. Oh my god, this is so weird. Nothing weird about making friends with your bestie's mom. Anyway, we are texting and we both agreed that you have been acting really weird lately. What do you mean? Well, first, you didn't let Sky fix you up with Josh and you used to love Josh. And then you didn't want me to fix you up with someone I knew and when I asked you about it, you got super defensive. Did you guys ever just stop and think that maybe I don't want a boyfriend? It's the 21st century and I am a strong independent woman who don't need no man. I did cross our minds, but we both agreed that you used your lying voice. That made us further our investigation. Exactly. If you just didn't want a boyfriend, fine, but you're hiding something. An investigation? Are you guys really being detectives about this? Why, yes we are. I've watched quite enough cop shows to know what I'm doing. Thank you very much. We both have. And by the way, Mackenzie, where were you last night? Uh, what do you mean? I went into your room last night to bring you some ice cream and you weren't there. Oh, I went out to get ice cream, that's all. Why would you go to get ice cream if we had some downstairs? Uh, uh, I can't do this right now! I have to go to school! Moments later. I can't believe you and my mom cornered me like that. Hey, your mom and I have a good friendship! Don't knock it! I know, but you totally caught me off guard. We're just worried about you, girly! That's all! We think that there's something you're hiding! Well, what if there is? <gasps> I knew it! What do you think? Ew, it's not that creepy guy from the arcade! I'm not saying anything. I can't just yet. It's the arcade guy, isn't it? Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I can say anything. Why not? Because I want to make sure it's safe. Safe? From who? Oh my god, is he a spy? No, I'm not dating a secret spy. But you do have a secret boyfriend, Spill. I'm not admitting to anything yet. How about this? I'll tell you tomorrow after school. Why then? Because there are other people that I want to tell too. Ooh, this is getting juicy. And you have to promise me you're not going to freak out. Oh, girly, you know I can't promise that. The next day. Out of my way! Out of my way! My bestie is about to expose her secret boyfriend! This is happening, people! This is happening! This is not a drill! Okay, okay, I'm here, I'm here. We can start. Hey, wait a minute. What is she doing here? Why was there nobody left in this school to torment? What is she doing here? I thought one loser was enough to ruin my afternoon. Ashley, Sky, the reason I asked you both to be here is because what I'm about to tell you will affect you both. Oh, brother! Brother? How do you know anything about a brother? Who said anything about a brother? Not me! Will you just get on with it, freak? Some of us have better things to do! Right to the chase, okay? I like that. Here it is. Uh, I have a new boyfriend. Okay, that is kind of breaking news. Who would ever want to date you? Girly, I can't take this anymore. Can you please just tell me who this secret boyfriend is? It's Asher, Ashley's brother. Wait, what? You're dating a male Ashley? Wait, your parents have kids named Ashley and Asher? What, did they run out of names? Shut up, Sky! Mackenzie, how could you? I know what you're both thinking, but it's not what it looks like. Yeah, right, you're both totally doing this to make my life miserable. You know what it would do to my reputation if anyone found out that my family was dating a loser like you? So you did the only thing you could do to take me down. Or how about Asher and I met and hit it off. This doesn't have anything to do with you, Ashley. Oh, please. Everything has something to do with me. Have you seen me? Um, ew. Guy? I can't believe you didn't tell me. Yeah, ditto. And I never thought I would agree with this loser. Well, maybe because of the reason I was afraid to tell you was because of this reaction.
reaction. How else did you expect us to react? Oh my god, if you and Asher get married and have kids, they'll be half freaks. Ah! Please, say something, bestie. Ashley's brother? Really? Okay, but do you now see why he was a secret boyfriend? I kind of knew this reaction was coming. I just don't understand, Mackenzie. Out of everyone in the whole world, everyone in our school, why someone who has to be related to our bully? Well, it's not like I planned it, but also you can't blame Asher for that. What do you mean? You can't help who your family is, even if you're related to an awful person. That's not his fault. Asher can't help who his sister is. Having a bully for a sister doesn't make him a bully. You can't just blame him for other people's actions. I guess so, and come to think of it, you have been really happy lately. Yeah, he makes me really happy because he is so nice to me. Well, that's all I want for you, girly. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry I got mad at first. I guess I just didn't understand, but if it makes you happy, I'm okay with it. Sky, you're the best. I promise you, you're gonna love him. Let's not jump to any conclusions that I'm going to love anyone related to Ashley just yet, okay? Okay, deal. And Valentine's Day, probably because I never get a Valentine. Oh, and it's gonna be so annoying because Ashley and Josh are gonna be all cutesy cutesy together. I wish Valentine's Day wasn't even a thing and tomorrow just wouldn't even happen. Oh, I'm just gonna go to sleep and get this over with because I already know that tomorrow is gonna be the worst day ever. Oh, good night. The next day. Ah, Valentine's Day. You know, this was one of my favorite days when I was a kid. I hope Mackenzie loves it just as much as I did. Oh, someone rang the doorbell. I wonder who it is. Okay, let me go check. Hmm, doesn't look like anyone's here. Oh, what's this left on the floor? Wow, these are beautiful. And there's a note too. Hmm, to Mackenzie. Now, normally I'd be a nosy mom and read the note, but I'll let her read it first. Oh, Mackenzie, someone left something at the door for you. Mom, what is it? Look, someone left these roses and a note. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone left that for me? What the heck? My daughter's first secret admirer. You are growing up so fast. Okay, I'm gonna go back down to finish my coffee. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This doesn't make any sense. No one is giving me flowers and a note. Ugh, it's probably Ayla and Ashley up to this. Uh, they're probably just trying to get under my skin. And honestly, it's kind of working. <sighs> okay, let me see what the note says. All right, let's take a look here. Roses are red, violets are blue. Ever since we've met, I've had a crush on you. Wait, and then down in the corner, it says, meet me on the roof of the school at 12 p.m. Okay, this is really suspicious. I have to tell Skye. Okay, Skye, something really weird just happened. What happened? I just got roses and a note delivered to my door. Oh my gosh, no way. From who? I don't know, but I'm coming over right now. Yes, girly, come over right now. Okay, see you soon. Oh my gosh, this is so strange, and if Ayla and Ashley are up to this, I'm gonna be so mad. Have a great day, Mackenzie. Bye, Mom. Okay, this is so strange. I've gotta talk to Skye. Skye! Oh my gosh, girl, are those for me? Say less. No, you dummy. Those are from the secret admirer. Oh, right. Guys, this is so weird. Here, read this note. Do you think Ayla and Ashley are up to this? Hmm, let me take a look at this. I think I'll leave my glasses to dissect it. Okay, here, it's literally so strange. Okay, okay, roses are red, violets are blue. Ever since I met you, I had a crush on you. Oh, snap, girl. Whoever wrote it, this is smooth. Okay, okay, but do you think this could be Ashley and Ayla pulling a prank on me? Girl, no way. First of all, Ashley is way too stupid to ever be this smooth. <laughs> True. And Ayla dots all of her eyes with hearts. That is a good point. So whoever wrote it, this is actually your secret admirer. Okay, now this just got way weird. The only way for us to find out who this is, is for you to meet them on the roof at 12 o'clock. But what if someone is trying to kidnap me? Oh boy, this is just a lot. Don't worry, girly. I'll come with. I'll bring my binoculars. And I'll climb on the other roof beside you. Yes, Sky, you're genius. Wait, but if it is actually a boy, which it, it probably isn't, but like if it was, what do I wear? Girl, we need to get you looking on fleek. Because what you got on right now, it just ain't it. Okay, well, I'll just let you handle the style. Say less. Follow me. All right, let's see what Sky's got in mind. All right, my mom just took me shopping yesterday. And you can borrow 
anything you want. Sky, you're the best. Okay, let me take a look. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, let me know what you think. Oh, Mackenzie, you should not be allowed to dress yourself. Why? What's wrong with this outfit? I think it's kind of cute. As your friend, I cannot let you out looking like that. Here, try this on. Okay, what do we think? Now that's what I'm talking about, girly. Okay, you're right. It's so cute. Okay, I'm ready to meet the boy now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your horses, girl. We gotta do something about that hair and nails of yours. <gasps> Salon? Heck yeah, let's go. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Watch out, world. Here we come. Emergency, my friend has a secret admirer. A secret admirer? Come with me. I know exactly what to do. Have a seat at the vanity, girly. Oh, over here? Okay, I'll take a seat. Oh my gosh, what are they gonna do to me? All right, do you trust me? Uh, sure, yeah, of course, obviously. I'm gonna make you look like a princess. Oh, that sounds pretty cool, okay. Okay, come here, we have to rinse. Oh my gosh, what color are you putting into my hair? Girl, you're gonna look fire. Oh my gosh, okay, I trust you. I hope you like pink. Okay, you're in luck because pink is my favorite color. All right, come blow dry now. Oh my gosh, wait, why is there so much pink coming out here? Okay, girl, you can go look in the mirror now. Okay, I'll go over to the mirror. I'm a little nervous. Whoa, I love it. You look amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Whoa, 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 we aren't done yet. We gotta get those claws looking fresh. You mean my nails? Uh, yes, I ain't letting you out in public with those. Okay, okay, fine, let's do it. Oh my gosh, you are so good at this. Thanks, queen. All right, how do we like these new set of claws? They are literally so cute. I'm obsessed with them. And don't worry, this is on the house. Just helping a sister out. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Wait, now that I remember, I have a secret admirer too. Oh, girly, don't pull that one on me. <laughs> Come on, Sky. let's just get out of here. We're almost late for school. Let's go. Okay, okay, we better get there fast. All right, we made it just in time. Mackenzie, whoa, you look pretty. <clears throat> ugly, yeah, pretty ugly. <laughs> What the heck are you all dressed up for? Ain't nobody asking you to be their valentine. Yeah! As for me, though, I think Josh is gonna ask me to be his valentine today. So I have to look extra pretty. <laughs> Even though that's, like, impossible. Because I'm perfect already. Ugh, yeah, whatever, girls. Ugh, come on, Sky. Let's just go to class. There's no point of talking to those girls. Morning, class. Wait a second. Where's Josh? Ah, uh, I actually have no idea. He's probably skipping class to plan something for me. He knows a princess like me deserves something extravagant. Is it just me or is Ashley extra annoying today? I think it's just you. She's always this annoying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sky, it's lunchtime. Okay, girl, this is where we go our separate ways. You know the plan, right? I'll be on the lookout. Okay, yeah, I know what we're doing. I'm just really nervous. Eek, I'm so excited for you. Whew, okay, this is the way to the rooftop, and I really hope this isn't any kidnapper. Okay, I'm gonna climb up all the way to the top. All right, I wonder who's gonna be here waiting for me. Oh, look, there's Sky. How the heck did she get that ladder up there? Okay, I'm gonna take a look at her with my binoculars. Hey, Mackenzie. <laughs> okay, Sky's hilarious. I'm just gonna sit over here and just wait for someone. A little later. Oh, I've been waiting for 30 minutes and no one's here. Ugh, I think I've been pranked. Guy, I don't think anyone's coming. We've been up here for over 30 minutes now. Kens, look behind you. Look behind me? What do you mean? Um, who is that flying in the sky? Whoa, this is really weird. Who is that? Oh my gosh, they're landing. Josh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Josh, what are you doing here? Mackenzie, roses are red, violets are blue. Ever since we met, I've had a crush on you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this cannot be happening. Will you be my valentine? Oh my gosh, is this real? Can you pinch me for a second? Uh, okay, sure. Uh, why did I just pinch you? I wanted to make sure I wasn't dreaming. But yes, I would love to be your valentine. Wait, but what about Ashley? I thought you liked her. I've seen the way she treats you guys. She's such a mean person. Come Come on, I have a day plan for us. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Here, hold my hand. Okay, let's go. Uh-oh, it's Ashley. Josh? Oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, Josh, what are you doing with Mackenzie? I'm doing what you wish I was doing with you, but I don't go out with bullies. Ugh, this can't be happening to me. I'm the most popular girl in all of Brookhaven. You should be begging to be with me. Okay, now let's go. That was so cute. Go get him, girl. I literally cannot believe this is happening to me. Come on, hop in. Where are we going? First off, ice cream. Oh my gosh, I love ice cream. Hey, what can I get for you guys? Bubble, bubble gum. gum. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Two bubble gum ice creams coming up. That will be $2. I'll pay. <gasps> Ooh, 
We stand a boy who pays. Wow, what a gentleman. Thanks. Jinx. Jinx, Jinx, Jinx again. again. Oh my gosh, this is already the best day ever. I got one more surprise for you. Oh my gosh, this is already a lot to take in. This is seriously like the best Valentine's Day ever. Wait, where are we? We're gonna climb up there and watch the sunset together. Here, let me give you a piggyback. Oh my God, yes, this is so much fun. I'm loving every minute of this. Whoa, I didn't even know you could come up here. Wow, this view is beautiful. Not as beautiful as you. Oh my gosh. You know, I actually used to hate Valentine's Day, but I actually really love it now. Hey, uh... What? What is it? I wrote a song for you. For me? You wrote a song for me? I knew the day we met that we were meant to be. I knew our fate was set that you were the one for me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Did you like it? I loved it. Mackenzie! 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 Mackenzie, wake up! It's Valentine's Day! Wait, wait, what? We're gonna be late for school. Wait a minute, where's Josh? Huh? Josh, what? What are you talking about? Wait, what's going on? Oh my god, my hair. It's back to normal. Back to normal? I'm so confused. No! Oh my gosh, Sky, Josh is just so dreamy. I mean, just look at him. Not gonna lie, he is looking pretty cute today. <sighs> I wish Josh knew how I actually felt about him. Well, you'll never know unless you actually start talking to him and getting to know him better. Oh, you're right. I just get so nervous when I talk to him. Maybe just ask him questions. You can learn more about him. Guys love talking about themselves. Okay, right. Ask some questions. That's a good idea. Hey, guys. Hi, what's your favorite color? Uh, blue? The heck you doing, Kenzie? I don't know. I was just taking your advice and asking questions. You don't just ask someone what their favorite color is right after they say hi, dummy. Ugh, let me handle this. So, uh, Josh, how are you liking the new school so far? I actually really like it here. All of you guys have been so nice to me, but like, I just wish I had some guy friends to chill with. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, no, Mackenzie, I forgot to walk my pet fish today. Sorry, Josh, we gotta go. Your pet fish? You don't even have a. Come on, let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, since when did fish start walking? You know what? I ain't even gonna ask. What the heck were you doing? I was having a great conversation with Josh. Mackenzie, I just had a genius idea. Okay, go on. Well, you heard him say he wishes he had more guy friends to hang out with, right? Uh, yeah. Why don't we just go undercover as guys? Okay, that's insane. But we're not guys, so how would we even do that? Mackenzie, don't worry about the how. Oh, just come over after school. All right, I trust you. Guy, come on, let's go. School's over. What are those two nerds so excited about? I don't know, probably nerd things. Uh, the weatherman didn't say anything about snow today. Come on, girly, get under my umbrella. Let's go up to my room. Come on, girly. All right, so what's the plan? Okay, step one. We need to write a letter to the principal telling him that two boys are enrolling at the school. Right, and the two boys, that's us. No, it's Ashley and Ayla. Of course it is us, duh. Oh, okay. Dear Mr. Principal Man, we are two young boys who are on an exchange program and visiting Brookhaven. We would love to enroll at the school. Thank you. Bye. Perfect. Step one, complete. Okay, now how are we supposed to look like boys? <gasps> Salon! Let's go! Oh, hey girls. What brings you guys in today? Looking for a Manny and Petty? Listen up, lady. My friend right here has a crush on the new boy at school. And he said he wishes he has more guy friends. So we're gonna go undercover as guys. And we need you to make us look like guys. Got it? Say no more. Come with me. Oh, wow. That actually worked. You could just have a seat over here while I work on your friend. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's boy you up. All right. How do we like it? Oh, my God. I literally look exactly like a boy. I mean, other than the pink outfit I have on. Sky, how do we like it? Whoa. Me next. Me next. We're going to be the best looking dudes out there. All right. How do we like it? Not going to lie. I would date myself. Whoa. We look like total dudes. I know. This is so weird. All right. Let's go find an outfit. Thanks, salon lady. Wait, you forgot to pay. Whoa, the guy stuff is so boring. I know, right? It's all hoodies and jeans. Uh. All right, how do I look? Whoa, like a guy. Okay, let me find something now. All right, do we like it? Yup, I love it. Quick, let's go home. It's flooding. The weather here is just so unpredictable. All right, so now that we look like boys and dress like boys, we gotta learn how to act like boys. Well, how do boys act? Well, boys like to be gross. Like, my dad burps all the time. Ew, he burps? So, we gotta practice burping. Yeah, I think it's a guy thing. Here, take this. Uh, okay. <coughs> How was that? Not bad at all. All right, let me try. <coughs> hey, I think we're pretty good at this. Well, being a guy is actually kind of fun. Okay, next up, we need to talk like 
boys. I'll pretend to be Josh and you talk to me. Okay, okay. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Josh. How are you? Kenzie. What? We need to take your voice down like 10 levels. And also, guys don't talk like that. All right, try this. Yo, Josh, what's up, bro? All right, let's do that again. Hey, Mackenzie. Hey, Josh, my bro. All right, how's that? Uh, it needs work, but we have to move on. Just remember, when in doubt, just add a bro to the end of every sentence. Got it, bro? Got it. Bro. Okay, so now that we look like boys, dress like boys, and act like boys, how are we going to go to school tomorrow as boys, but also as ourselves? Well, in the morning, you and I are going to pretend to be our moms and call in sick for Mackenzie and Scott. Oh my gosh, I've never called in sick before. Trust me, girl, it's easy. Just come over before school tomorrow. My mom will be at work. All right, let's do this. I mean, what could go wrong? Good night. Bro. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. All right. Hopefully, we can pull this one off tomorrow. The next day. Sky, you ready for today? Yes, I'm ready. Are you? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, call the principal and pretend to be your mom. Tell him you're sick. Uh, hey, Mr. Principal Man. Hi, who's calling? Uh, it's Mackenzie's mom. Mackenzie's mom. I just want to let you know, Mackenzie's really sick today. She's, uh, she has food poisoning and she's farting a lot and it's really stinky. All right, too much information. I did not need to know all that. I hope she gets better. Bye. Uh, okay, bye. You didn't have to tell him all that. Let me show you how the pros do it. Hey, Mr. Principal Man. Hello? This is Sky's mom. Sky is sick. She won't be in class today. Okay, that's fine. Bye. Bye. Wow, you're good. Yeah, I know. All right, let's go to school. All right, this is it. Class, please welcome our two new exchange students from, uh, where are you guys from again? Uh, Sweden. Yeah, we're from Sweden. Sweden, what a great country. So it doesn't say here in the email your guys' names. Could you please share them with the class? Our names, we didn't practice that. Oh my God, how do we forget that part? You, blonde hair boy, uh, what's your name? Uh, my name, right, my name. Uh, my name is... Oh my God, Mackenzie, what's your name? What's your name? It's, uh... What's his name, what's his name? I got nothing on a name. Plant! Plant. My name's Plant. Out of all the names you could think of, you used Plant. I'm sorry, it's all I could think of. Whoa, Plant. That's a very interesting name. Oh, yeah, it's a very popular name back in Sweden. Pretty much everyone's name is Plant. All right, so I'm gonna guess your name. Maybe Tree? No, my name's Steve. Hi, Steve. You two have a seat. All right, class, please make Plant and Steve feel welcome. We're excited to have them join us all the way from Sweden. Whoa, Plant's such a cool name. Whoa, it's lunch. Let's go eat some lunch. Okay, now's our chance. Let's go. I think he's in the cafeteria. All right, let's go. Look, there he is. All right, remember what we practiced. Be cool. <clears throat> hey, bro. Hi, broski. Hey, dudes. Nice to see some guys finally at school. I've been looking for guy friends for so long. Yeah, me too. Same, bro. We were hoping the school would have a cool bro like you. Do you guys want to hang out after school? Oh, my God, yes. <clears throat> I mean, uh, yeah, that'd be cool, bro. Yeah, maybe we could do some guy stuff. Up, like play some sports or something. Yeah, let's go play soccer. Soccer, yeah. Me and Plant used to be pro soccer players back in Sweden. No way, that's so cool. Oh, gotta go back to class. Let's go. I've actually gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Me too, actually. I'll come with you. Okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, Plant, that's the wrong one. Oh, right, yeah, I knew that. I was just testing you. <laughs> Wait, urinals? I can't stand up and pee. You could use the one beside me. Don't worry. Uh, I have to poop. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I'm doing fine. Let's just go. All right, let's go back to class now. Let's go play soccer. All right, Plant, you be the goalie. All right, the goalie, I can do that. All right, I got it. Oh, ow, that hurt. Oh no, Plant, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got distracted by like a cute girl over there. There's so many of them at the school, right? What? So many of them? Who does he think is cute? Oh, really? Uh, Who are the cute girls to look out for? Guys, I just kicked the ball over the fence. Help boost me over the fence, please. Yeah, bro, of course I'll help you. Oh, look, I think I see it. Let's go get it. Okay, guys, a car just ran over our ball and it's gone. Uh, we should probably get out of here. You guys want to come over to my house to chill? Yeah, da, bro. Yeah, me and Plant love chilling. Welcome to my crib, boys. Come on in. What was that back there? He was telling me who the cutest girls at school were. Oh, sorry, Kenzie. I didn't know. Don't worry. We'll get it out of them here. Okay, fine. Let's go. Come on. You guys thirsty? Yeah, I could do for pop. Just, uh, water for me, please. Here's some water and some soda for you. Thanks, man. Psst, remember what we practiced. <laughs> Oh.
Oh, that was wicked. So, anyways, Josh, there's a lot of cute girls at our school, right, bro? Which, uh, ones you have your eyes on? Just so Plant and I can make sure we don't go for the same girls. Well, there is this one girl at school. She's super nice to me, and I think she's super cute. Her name is Mackenzie. Yes! Uh, why did you do that? Oh, uh, my favorite hockey team just scored a goal. No way! I love hockey! What's your favorite team? The, uh, Sharks. Huh, I've never heard of them before. Yeah, it's just a team back in Sweden. So, uh, tell me more about this, uh, Mackenzie. Well, she wasn't here at school today because she was sick. I wish she was there to meet you guys. I'm sure you guys would like her. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. But then there's also this other girl who's, like, the total opposite of Mackenzie. She's really bad but super cool. Her name's Ashley. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ashley because it doesn't seem like Mackenzie's very into me. And apparently she thinks I'm ugly and that I smell bad. What? I never said that. Huh? You never said what? I'm confused. I meant I don't think she would ever say that. Because you smell great and definitely aren't ugly and you're also really cute. Wait a second. What'd you say, bro? Uh, I meant like you're like a good looking dude. Uh, it's uh, getting late. I should probably go to bed. Yeah, you're right, bro. Plant and I should probably get some sleep too. You almost blew our cover in there. What were you doing? I don't know. I just got really stressed out. I can't believe Josh thinks that you think he's ugly and that he smells bad. I wonder who told him that. Uh, Ashley? Ashley? You know, being a guy for a day was fun, but I miss being a girly girl. Yeah, same here, Kenzie. See you tomorrow at school, girly. The next morning. Hey, uh, Mr. English teacher, sir, where's Steven Plant today? Hmm, I just got an email from the principal. Apparently, they moved back to Sweden today. Oh, man. I really like those two guys. They were cool. Psst, you hear that? He thought we were cool, Sky. <laughs> Sky! Be quiet, Kenzie. You're not supposed to be making noise. It's fine. It's just study hall. It's worth it. This better be good. Okay, I have a new crush. And just like that, I'm going back to my homework. Guy, I'm serious. A crush, Mackenzie? This couldn't have waited till after school? No, I really think it's something special. What happened to Josh? Nothing happened to him, but I don't know. He's just different. What's his name? Blair. So, are you going to tell me about Blair? He's really cute. What does he do? I don't exactly know what he does. Well, what's he like? He's really, really sweet and cute. Oh, I already said he was cute. And he's a little older. How much older? Not much. Enough that you had to mention it. Oh, don't get all caught up on age, Sky. I don't know. He sounds kind of dangerous. How does he sound dangerous? Ugh, you don't know anything about him. Exactly. You don't know anything about this guy i think you're underreacting well that's not even a phrase i'm going back to my homework we can discuss this later okie dokie later that same evening oh my gosh i can't believe you brought me ice cream you are literally the sweetest ever anything for you mackenzie oh you are so sweet so what did you do today uh nothing really did you go to your job yeah this morning what is your job again? Why are you asking so many questions, Mackenzie? Uh, it's just my best friend. She got in my head. How did she get in your head? Don't worry about it. I'm not gonna let her ruin a perfectly good afternoon. No, tell me what's wrong. Are you sure? Of course. You can tell me anything. Well, Blair, you're just too nice. Sky is just worried about you. Why is she worried about me? She thinks you're too old for me and thinks I don't know you enough. Ugh, there I go again, blowing a great day. No, don't be silly. You're not blowing anything. Thanks, Blair, but I feel like I am. Nonsense. You couldn't possibly. So, what else did Sky say? That's about it, but it's just really bothering me. Don't let what Sky thinks of anyone else bother you. I mean, she doesn't even know you, so where does she get off thinking like that? Exactly. She doesn't even know me, so forget about it. I guess you're right. It only matters what I think. And what do you think? I think that this is a perfect day, and I'm so happy to be here with you, Blair. There you go. I bet Sky doesn't understand anyways. She's probably just jealous. Yeah, I bet that's it. She's jealous. I mean, she doesn't have a crush, or a boyfriend, or a girlfriend, or anyone that is. See? She's jealous, and of course wants to try and bring you down since you're happy. Mm, that doesn't seem like Sky. Sometimes people surprise you, Mackenzie. Yeah, I guess so. Man, I'm lucky to have you. Likewise. Later that night. So, what are we watching tonight?
night? Is it a Stranger Things kind of night or a kissing booth kind of night? I think it's definitely a Cobra Kai night, so speak for yourself. You're both wrong. It's almost six. Time for the news. Ugh, Dad, no fair. You got to pick last time. How about we compromise? I watch the news for 10 minutes and then you get to watch your shows. But no SpongeBob, okay? Ugh, fine deal. And then I get my show too. Okay, Mom. Let's see what's going on in Brookhaven tonight. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. There has been a murder in our city. Oh, my gosh. This might be more than 10 minutes. Dad. Shh, Mackenzie, I need to watch. We are just completely shook by the news that a murder occurred earlier this evening in the quiet town of Brookhaven. Not much is known yet, but the victim was an 18-year-old female was a student at Brookhaven High School. Oh my gosh, this is so, so terrible. I know, can you believe that somebody in Brookhaven would do this? What kind of a city are we living in? Oh my gosh, this is too scary. I don't want to watch this anymore. We need to, Mackenzie. It's the news. It's important. Not much is known on the attacker, but witness states that it was a young man, mid-20s, with brown hair who wore a white shirt. If anyone knows this individual, please come forward so we can can put this horrible criminal behind bars. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. I hope they catch this man. They will, honey. Don't worry. So I take it as I don't get the TV tonight? Somebody was murdered, Mackenzie. You should be taking this a little more seriously. Fine. I'm gonna text Sky. Moments later. Come in. Sky, what are you doing here? I was just texting you. I know, but I wanted to talk in person. Why? About the Tonight. It's horrible, isn't it? And Blair being the murderer? I, uh, what? You heard me. What do you think about Blair being the killer? Have you lost your mind? My crush is not the killer. What do you even have to base this on? A deranged fantasy? Think about it, Mackenzie. Think about what? The murder took place outside the park. You literally met Blair in the park after school. So you know he was at the park today. There is more than one park in Brookhaven, Sky. Okay. One hour later. Ugh, I can't sleep. Why did Blair want to meet me at the park today anyways? Why didn't he just come over? Or why didn't we just eat in the ice cream shop like a normal couple? Ugh, maybe Skye was right. But who was the murder victim and why would she know Blair? What if Blair had another girl he was talking to the whole time when he was talking to me? Ugh, I can't do this. I need answers and I need them now. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Oh my gosh, Blair, what else could you possibly be doing right now? What if Sky is right? The next day. Oh my gosh, Mackenzie, you look terrible. I've been up all night. Why? You know why? I can't stop thinking about Blair. I've been calling him and he hasn't been picking up. Maybe he was killing someone else. That's so not funny. Help me. What do you want me to do? I don't know, but you have to help me though. It's what best friends are for. It's your job. Talk about pressure. Well, would you rather a little pressure or me date a criminal? Okay, okay. Slow down. First thing we need to do is trap him. Trap him? Why? We need to trap him so we can demand the truth out of him. If he really did do it, which I'm not saying I believe anything yet, do you really think he would admit to it? Well, that's why you need to trap him. You need to demand the truth out of him. How do I do that? Should I invite him over today after school? No, you don't let a murderer walk into your house. Go over to his house, but stay near the door. If you can, try and get him out of his house. Okay, okay. Get him talking. Like, what did he do yesterday? What was with the white shirt? Does he wear them often? You know, that kind of stuff. <sighs> okay.
Okay, wish me good luck. You're gonna need more than good luck, girl. But with that being said, good luck. Oh, brother, I better be on standby just in case she needs my help. Later that same evening. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, there you are. Come on in. <gasps> What's on your shirt? Oh, don't let this scare you. I was painting a room red, and it splattered on my shirt. Uh, what room? A room upstairs. You can't see it from here. So, what's up? I tried calling you last night, like, all night. Yeah, sorry about that. My phone was off. Why do you look like you're trying to get out of here? Come in, stay a while. No, let's go maybe take a drive somewhere, or we can get ice cream again? I'd rather stay in. I don't know, Blair. I am Assist. Meanwhile, my best friend is talking to a murderer. <gasps> oh my god, my best friend is going to be murdered. What can I do? What can I do? Is there anything I can do? Ah, the stress is killing me. Hello, Brookhaven Police. What do I do if I suspect my best friend's crush is a murderer? Meanwhile, one in. You're gonna stay, right? I, 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 I guess so. Pretty terrible about what happened last night, huh? What do you mean? You, uh, didn't watch the news? Oh, yeah, that. I mean, stuff happens. Stuff happens? Uh, I don't think murder just happens, Blair. You don't know what the girl was mixed up with or who she was mixed up with? So, you know her? I didn't say that. Interesting. She was killed at the park, and we were at the park yesterday. There are a lot of parks in Brookhaven, Mackenzie. Yeah, that's what I said to Sky. Sky? What does Sky have to do with this? Nothing. Is she the reason you're pressuring me? I'm not pressuring you. I promise. Do you think I did something to that girl? Did you? Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? All nervous and jumpy. Is it because I have blood on my shirt? <gasps> that is blood. I mean, paint. You did kill her, didn't you? It was you. Mackenzie, calm down. Who was she? She was my girlfriend. You had a girlfriend? Please, calm down. Why would you kill your girlfriend? And why are you even talking to me if you had a girlfriend? It wasn't like that, I promise. Then tell me what it was like. She was never going to let us be together. I had to do something. I didn't mean to kill her. I didn't. Yeah, that's easy to say after the fact. I'm serious. She wasn't the one I wanted to kill. What does that mean? It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt her. I really didn't. How do you not mean to kill someone? It was an accident. Just like this will be. Are you going to kill me now? I'm sorry, Mackenzie. You're cute and I like you, but maybe you should have listened to Sky about me. You can't kill me. Even if I didn't want to, I don't have a choice. You know too much. That's what gets people killed. It's not what they did, but what they know. I never should have been with you in the first place. I should have listened to my best friend. I'm really sorry, Mackenzie. I really am. No! Mackenzie, don't make this harder than it needs to be. You'll never get away with this. Don't be so sure about that. I've gotten away with it before. FBI, open up! Hey, Brookhaven police! Blair, drop the weapon and put your hands up! Blair, you are under arrest for murder! No! I'm gonna get you, Mackenzie, if it's the last thing I do! You're gonna be in prison for a very, very long time. Let's go. Mackenzie, oh my gosh, I was so worried. Guy, you just saved my life. Of course, that's what best friends are for. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. It's okay, all that matters no, it's not okay. I'm never going to date anyone ever again that you don't approve of. Because your best friend always knows best. <laughs> Paging Sky! Paging Sky! Your arrival crew is waiting for you! moments later. Why is ice cream so good? I usually hate anything that's cold. But with ice cream, it's so darn amazing. I know, right? It's like winter wonderland on your taste buds. Hey, so the dance is coming up now, isn't it? Has anybody asked you to go with them? Not yet, but I feel like Josh wants to ask me. I just need to give him the right kind of opportunity. Opportunity? Yeah, like I need to 
drop a book in front of him to pretend like it was an accident. So then he'll pick it up for me and we'll look into each other's eyes. Then we'll have a moment and the music will swell. Then he will finally have the courage to ask me the one thing that has been on my mind for so long. Wow, you've definitely been giving this some detailed thought. Well, you were out of town, so what the heck else was I supposed to do? Mom, what's up? Hi, Mackenzie, are you still with Sky? Hi, Mrs. Mackenzie's mom, ma'am. Yes, Mom, she says hi. Hi, Sky. Listen, honey, your father and I have something very important to discuss with you, so we're gonna need you to come down to the diner and meet us there, all right? Can you do that for me, sweetie? Sure, Mom, I'll see you there soon. What was that all about? I don't know, I hope it's not something bad. But I feel like whenever someone calls instead of texting, it's probably a big deal. Yeah, you're right. Well, call me after, girly, and let me know the scoop. Will do, bestie. Bye. Moments later. Hi, Mackenzie. Hello, Mackenzie. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. What's up? Mackenzie, I'm afraid we have some bad news for you. Sweetie, your grandmother is sick. Oh, no. Is she going to be okay? Well, we're not exactly sure, and that's why... Well, honey, we need to go and be with her right now to be there to take care of her. So we're going to have to go to Bloxburg for a little while. But for how long? We're really not sure, sweetie. It really depends on how things go when we get there. Well, can I come with you guys? Sweetie, we really think it's best if you stay here and keep going to your school here where you have your friends and teachers that you already know. Well, okay then, uh, but where will I go? Who will I stay with? Or am I just going to stay home alone? No, sweetie, we found a very nice family that volunteered to host you for the meantime. It's that boy in your class. I think you've mentioned him before. Uh, Jason? Josh? That's it, Josh. His mother has agreed to take you in for now, sweetie. How does that sound? How could you do this to me without asking for my permission? I'm sorry, honey, but there was no other choice. Plus, we're leaving right now. It's too late to go back on it now. It's only temporary, Mackenzie, just until we're back. Oh, brother. Later that same evening. Thanks for taking me in, Mrs. Josh's mom, lady, ma'am. Of course, honey. It's the least I could do. I'm sorry that your grandmother is sick, but I'm sure she'll be glad to have your parents there take care of her. Yeah, that's true. A few moments later. Josh, you're gonna have to stop playing soon. It's almost time for dinner. Okay, Mom, just let me finish this one quest. Oh, that boy and his silly video games. Uh, hi, Josh. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. My mom told me you're gonna stay here for a while, so let me be the first to say mi casa e tu casa. Thanks, Josh. Uh, so did you know that there's school dance coming up? Hang on, I need to just talk to this dragon for a second. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Talk to the dragon, sure. Sorry, it's just my last game before dinner. You get it. Gosh, Mackenzie! Oh, well, I guess it wasn't even a full game. Gosh, I can't wait until I'm an adult so I can play video games for as long as I want. So, Mackenzie, how is school? Is anything new? Well, actually, Mrs. Josh's mom, lady, ma'am, there is a dance coming up. Ooh, a dance? Josh, did you hear that? Mackenzie, has anybody asked you to the dance yet? No, but, well, Josh, were you gonna go to the dance? Nah, I can't go. What? Why not? I promised Mario, my personal trainer, that I would go to the gym with him that night i'm really trying to get swole oh okay one hour later wait so what happened when you brought up the dance i don't get it it was literally so weird he was all like i gotta get swole with my trainer he like didn't catch the hint at all okay i have an idea but it might be too weird so if it's too weird just tell me it's too weird and we can forget that i ever said it okay what is it well your main goal here is to basically spend more time with josh right huh yeah well then you should also start going to the gym and try to get swole. Then you two will have that in common and have something to talk about. Wow, Scott, you're right. That makes so much sense. But I don't want to go alone. Will you come with me? Sure thing, girly. To be honest, I wouldn't mind getting swole myself. <laughs> well, perfect then. Let's do it. The next day. Go work, Josh. Give me 20 more. Uh, one, two, uh, five, nine. Hello, Mr. Fitness Man, sir. Is this where Yes, it is. And please call me Mario. You can join in on our session right now if you like. Josh here is just finishing up some bench press. Mackenzie? Sky? What are you two doing here? Oh, well, uh, we just thought it would be a good idea to get swole. When you mentioned getting swole over dinner, I was like, yes, that's a great idea. And Sky agreed, so now we're here. Oh, okay. Well, cool, I guess. All right, team, let's get into it. All right, give me 50 jumping jacks. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said he wanted to get swole. 50 it is, I guess. Wow, okay, this is harder than I thought. Yeah, I'm not sure I have the capacity to get swole. Swoling, sure, but swole, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, swole, more like swole. No, 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 I can't do this. My body feels like a noodle right now. Like a cooked noodle, all limp-like. Not like before they're cooked. This noodle simile is starting to make me hungry. I think what we need instead of getting swole is some. Pizza. And let's 
sorry, girls, but if you're not going to take this seriously, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. That's fair. We understand. Moments later. Well, I guess that didn't work. Yeah, who knew getting swole was going to be so hard? Or that you're not allowed to make too many jokes while getting swole. A true tragedy. Well, what should we do? There's no way Josh is going to want to take me to the dance now. That was super embarrassing. And he also seems super intent on being swole. I guess I just have to give up on that idea. Unless... Unless what? Unless we find a way to make sure Mario will be busy the night of the dance. So Josh won't be able to work on getting swole that night. Whoa, Sky, I swear, you are a total mastermind sometimes. Here, let's pull up his Instagram. Okay, got it. Here. Whoa, he used that frosted tips. Look at that hairstyle. So funny. <laughs> oh, here we go. He clearly loves EDM parties. EDM parties? Yeah, it's like a certain kind of club music. Oh, okay, and why does this matter? Well, we could throw a fake EDM party the night of the dance and invite him, and then maybe he will bail on Josh, making Josh free once more to take you to the dance. Alrighty, let's give it a try. The next day... Josh, what's wrong? Nothing, it's just that Mario canceled on me tomorrow night, and I really had my heart set on trying to get super swole that night. Oh, I'm sorry, Josh, but you do know that... That night is the night of the dance, right? So now you can go to the dance and take someone you like with you. If you think about it, it's like an opportunity to make your heart swell. Wow, thanks, Mackenzie. I'm really glad we had this chat. I feel a lot better. So is there uh, anything you'd like to ask me? Oh, yeah. Do you remember what time my mom said dinner was going to be at tonight? I want to make sure I have enough time to play an entire round of video games. Also, I think I'm going to go call Ashley and invite her to the dance. All right, why not get my heart swole as the rest of my body? Wait, maybe I was on the wrong track here. Hang on. No, no, no. Don't take it back. It was truly inspirational, Mackenzie. Truly. I never would have had the courage to ask Ashley to the dance if it weren't for you. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, proud of myself. Great. <laughs> Five minutes later. Sky's phone! Sky speaking! Sky, Josh asked Ashley to the dance. He didn't get the hint yet. I'm beginning to think maybe I was wrong. Maybe he never liked me. Maybe I'm not even likable. Maybe no one will ever like me. And I'll grow up alone and I'll die in a cave somewhere. And nobody will ever care because nobody ever loved me. Because I'm not lovable and everything is terrible. Mackenzie, no. Don't say that about yourself. Don't I didn't have a chance with you. If I had known you wanted to go with me, I would have asked you. I was only going to ask Ashley because she always tells me how much she likes me, so I never have to wonder with her. Wait, so you didn't ask Ashley to the dance yet? No, and I'm not going to. Mackenzie, will you go to the dance with me? Well, Josh, I thought you'd never ask. Sweet, this will actually be better than trying to get swole. Don't. Wait, I just remembered something. We should ask Mario to go to the dance also. What? Why? It's a long story. Sorry, but trust me, just tell him we'll play EDM music at the dance. All right, I'll call him right now. I bet he's got some good dance moves. <laughs> the next day... <laughs> nice dance moves, Sky. I learned this one from TikTok. Dude, this party rocks. Thanks for inviting me. I was almost going to go to the other EDM thing, but honestly, this seems like way more awesome. Glad you came, Mario. Later that night. Thanks again for taking me to the dance, Josh. I had a really nice time. Hey, too, Mackenzie. Thanks for being honest with me and telling me you like me. I like you, too. <laughs> the next morning. Mackenzie, your parents are back and they're here to pick you up. Mom, Dad, I miss you so much. We miss you, too, sweetie. You guys are back so soon. Does that mean Grandma's all better? Yeah, your grandma is big dead. Yeah, like deader than dead. <laughs> 
talking about? Abort! Abort! McKenzie is here! Stop talking! Bye, McKenzie! Huh? Where are you going? Class is about to start! Uh, I gotta poop really bad! Okay, too much information! Sky, what was that all about? Oh, hey! I didn't see you there! Hi, what was that about? Um, good morning! Good morning! Now, what was that about? Seriously? Yeah, seriously! It was moments later. Hey, Josh, wait up. Oh, hey there, Mackenzie. So, how are you? I'm good. Worried about the quiz on Thursday. Yeah, me too, for sure. So, what's up? Um, well, I was wondering if maybe you want to hang out this weekend. I mean, uh, if you're not busy, of course, and, uh, if you want to. Gee, Mackenzie, that really does sound great, and I totally would if I was around. Oh. Yeah, it's just I have plans already with Sky. Oh! Yeah, sorry about that. I'll see you around, though. Ah! One hour later. Ah! Mackenzie, what's going on? Are you okay? Why are you screaming? Oh, I'm gonna kill someone! Oh, no. What's the ice cream place out of your favorite flavor again? Ah! Talk to me. Come on. I can't help you if you won't stop screaming. Maybe after I finish screaming into my pillow for a bit. Come on. Okay, so when I went to class today, Josh and Sky were talking to each other. And as soon as I walked up to them, they got super secret and quiet and Josh walked away. Like, so suspicious, Mom. Anyways, then I asked Sky about it and she kept on changing the subject like it was nothing. All right, um, so far I have to agree that it is nothing. Just wait. Okay, so then after class, I run up to Josh in the hallway. I totally wasn't even trying to find him. It's not like I memorized where his locker was or anything. But anyways, I walked up to him and asked him if he wanted to hang out this weekend. And he said he couldn't because he already had plans with Sky. Oh. Now do you see why I'm completely freaking out? Like, who does that? How can you ask out your best friend's crush? I don't understand. How could she do this to me? Honey, try and take a deep breath. No, this is my best friend and my crush, Mom. Like, who does that? How can you ask out your best friend's crush? Oh, I feel so betrayed. I want to scream at the top of my lungs. It seems maybe like you're jumping to some conclusion here. Um, whose side are you on, Mom? Yours, honey. Yours, of course. But let's take a step back. Do you know for a fact that Sky asked Josh out? Well, no. Okay, see? Try and look at both sides here. There is the possibility that something else entirely is going on, but you're too angry to see that. Don't you think that I have a reason to be angry? Not until you know all the facts. There might be a very simple explanation to all of this, but you wouldn't know that if you were screaming. I am very justified to scream. This is my best friend and my crush we're talking about, Mom. Crush, I would never in a million years go near him. That's just not what best friends do. Well, maybe except on TV. You're very right, and I don't think Sky is that kind of a girl. I don't think she would ever do that to you. In fact, I don't think she would ever do anything to intentionally hurt you. That's why I'm saying to calm down and see both sides before working yourself up like this. Ugh, I guess. So, take another deep breath, or maybe five, and if I were you, I would call Sky and smooth everything over with her, because she is your best friend. Tell her how you're feeling, get everything off your chest, and you'll both feel better. Call her? Are you serious? Yes, you don't want to fight with your best 
friend, so go on and call her. Moments later. Hey, girly, what's up? Hey. Why do you sound weird? I think we need to talk. My mom suggested I call you. About? I saw Josh in the hallway today. Oh? And he told me that you two have a date this weekend. Oh, oh my gosh, girl, if we need to talk. That's what I said. Okay, okay. Well, what should we do? Let's meet up outside the ice cream shop. We'll get everything out in the open. Okay, see you soon. See you. A few moments later. Hey, girly. Hi. Do you want to go ahead and order? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Not hungry for ice cream? No, I'm not. You're my best friend. Wait, Mackenzie. Wait, hold on a minute. No, people need to stop telling me that. Just give me a second to explain. Explain what? That you went after the only guy I liked? You're my best friend. I've always heard of girls in middle school backstabbing each other because of boys. But I thought you were different, Sky. I didn't think you would ever betray me like this. Wait, what? You thought I... Well, you did, didn't you? Whoa, Mackenzie. Actually, Mackenzie, Sky was covering for me, but she came to me this morning and told me what happened, so I gave her permission to tell you. This whole thing has gotten so out of control. I'm so sorry. Permission? Tell me what? Guys, I'm so confused. Well, stop trying to leave and say your butt down, and we'll tell you everything, okay? Okay, fine. All right, tell me. Where do we even start? 
just the beginning. Okay, so here's the thing. I never asked Sky out. Wait, what? Yeah, I never asked Sky out. I don't like Sky. I mean, no offense, Sky. Just because you say no offense doesn't mean I'm not offended. But it's okay because I don't like you either. Go on. I like you, Mackenzie, and that's why I went to talk to Sky. I thought I could recruit her. Recruit her for what? Sky is your best friend. Obviously, she knows you better than anyone else. I like you, and I wanted to ask you out. But I didn't want to do it in all the corny ways you see around school. I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be unique. Wait, really? Yeah, I had no idea what to do. I was clueless. He really was. Sky! I'm sorry, I'll be quiet now. Anyways, I thought because she was your best friend, Sky could help me plan an elaborate way for me to ask you out. Almost like a proposal, but for a date. That's what we were going to do this weekend. She was going to help me think of ways I could ask you out. Oh! Sky told me that you were suspicious and that you thought we had something going on. I couldn't let this plan come in between your friendship. So, I figured we'd come clean. No date is worth risking a friendship for. So, now you know. That's everything. Wow, I, I... Are you so mad? Sky, I'm so sorry. I can't believe it. I acted like a dummy. You did all of this just to surprise me with a great first date? Even after how I acted towards you? Of course. Sorry for what I said, for how I acted. I can't believe I ever thought you would betray me. I'm the one who betrayed you. Apology accepted. And no, you didn't. I see how it looked. And considering the fact that neither me or Josh have good poker faces, I can see why you got confused. I just want you to know that I would never, ever do that to you. I know, I know. And I'm so sorry I accused you for such a horrible thing. Ugh, I don't know how I got so lucky to have you. Same! And let's never, ever, ever let a boy come in between us ever again. Ew, never! Our friendship always comes first. Oh, uh, hello! I'm right here! Oh, sorry, Josh. And sorry we kind of ruined your romantic gesture, Josh. It was a nice idea. Yeah, I really am sorry. So, Mackenzie, now that you know, what do you think you guys are going to do this weekend on your first date? It doesn't matter as long as you come with us after all the trouble we put you through. Yeah, both of you. What do you say, Sky? I'm in as long as I can bring a date. We could always write a musical and perform it on the sidewalk. People love musicals. Since when have people loved musicals? I don't know, since Frozen, I guess. Yeah, but Frozen was such a masterpiece that anything we write will just look stupid and embarrassing. Yeah, we aren't talented enough to write a masterpiece. But true. So, what should we do to make money then? I don't know. Well, neither do I. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe we should sell those crickets you've been keeping in your pockets. Absolutely not. These crickets are living things, Sky. We can't just sell them like they're animals. They are animals, Kenzie. No, they're insects. What's the difference? Animals, insects, they're basically the same thing. <laughs> basically the same thing? You are just, ugh, I'm flabbergasted. I words. I can't even believe you right now, Sky. My heart is broken because of you. All I said was that animals and insects are the same. Don't you dare say that again. I think you're the animal here. Not my crickets, it's you. I thought your crickets were insects. Same difference. That's what I just said, McKenzie, and you said I was wrong. Well, I don't remember you saying that, and I just said that. So that means I said it, and you didn't, because I don't remember you saying anything. What are you talking about? Peace and love, Sky. The right to be a citizen in the lovely land of Brookhaven. Did you eat some dirt, McKenzie? You're acting crazy. I'm not acting crazy. Am I acting crazy, Cricket? Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Yeah, she doesn't get it. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I agree. wreck a Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet, is the greatest film of all time. How are you not seeing what I'm seeing, McKenzie? Like, this is simply crazy. Well, I ate dirt before I came here. By accident, 
of course. Well... Why would you do that? I was tricked into believing it was chocolate. By who? Myself? Mackenzie! Typically, I'm a lot smarter than that. I know that chocolate only grows in the rainforest. It's just, I didn't really sleep last night. Why's that? I was just thinking about... Thinking about what? Mackenzie! Oh, I hate when you do this. Mackenzie! You start talking and then you suddenly just stop, leaving me hanging. It really causes me a lot of stress because I never know if you're having a heart attack or something. Yeah, yeah, that sounds rad, Sky. Mackenzie, stop being weird. Anyways, we got really off track there. We need Sky, really awesome. Mackenzie, come on! Oh, no, 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 he's coming over here! Wait, who is? Oh, Josh, cool, cool! Oh, no, 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 Delma, not here! Hey, guys, uh, how's it going? It's going great, Josh. Mackenzie? Guy, you traitor! Evening, Joshua. Charmed, I'm sure. Uh, sure. So, what are you guys up to? We're trying to think of ways to make money so we can help a prince not become homeless. Hey, my family was doing that this morning as well. What a small world. Wow, Nigerian princes really do have it rough, I guess. Oh, cool. Mackenzie, did you happen to... No, no, no. I didn't happen to think about you or anyone else last night. Nope. No way, my man. Or friend, I think. No way, my friend. Oh, uh, cool. I was just gonna ask if you heard about what happened to that girl Desiree at our school. Who? Listen, I don't know. Someone just walked up to me and said, you know Desiree? And I was worried that if I said no, I would seem like a jerk. I have no clue who this Desiree is or what she wants in life, but all I want to know is, is she pretty? Do you think she's pretty? Do you think she's prettier than me? Don't answer that. That was a stupid question. But you probably do, though, right? No, don't answer that. I've never even met or seen her before. Someone just randomly told me that she actually stole a plane from the airport and crashed it in the middle of the woods. They haven't been able to find her, actually. She could be anywhere. She was in a plane crash? Well, I guess you don't think she's prettier than me, then. That's good. Is that good, Mackenzie? She nearly died. I mean, she did steal the plane and crash it, so it was nearly her fault. Sky. Mackenzie, some days I just worry about you. Stop quoting my parents, Sky. Well, uh, I'm gonna do what I came here to do. Play one arcade game and then leave. Cool. See you, Josh. Bye, guys. See you, Josh. Wouldn't want to be ya, or I would uh, love to be with ya. Well, not with ya, just like with... Mackenzie, give it up. He's not listening anymore. I don't know what just happened to me. I became an animal, like these crickets in my pocket. Mackenzie, you just need to be you, and Josh will like you regardless those crickets in your pocket. Do you really think so? I mean, these crickets are really loud. I know, Mackenzie, but you act like yourself around me all the time, and I love hanging out with you. Well, that's because I'm awesome, Sky. but maybe I'm just not awesome enough. Just talk, Dan, like a normal person. You don't need to act differently. Be yourself, Mackenzie. You're right. I'm gonna go ask him on a date right now. Wait, what? No, that's a horrible idea. Guy, anything that happens after this is all on you. This is all because of you. Mackenzie, please gonna get a boyfriend. Mackenzie, you're going insane, I think. No, he's leaving. Let him leave, Mackenzie. Don't do anything. Ugh, stupid. A few moments later. This is my moment. The moment that's gonna change my life. Oh, look, a shiny penny. That's good luck. I'm gonna ask Josh on a date. <gasps> oh, my God. Josh. One week later. He was so young. Like a child. He had such a bright future ahead of him. He was going to be a light bulb repairman. He was a beautiful soul. Ah! Wait, who are you? Oh, hello, I'm Mackenzie. I was your son's friend. This is a close funeral meant for only family. Oh, I was basically part of the family. Trust me. For some odd reason, I do trust you. Me too. I don't. Get him out of here. Security! Wait, wait, I want to stay. I'll be good, I promise. You know, Mackenzie, Josh probably thought you were rather cool, huh? I hope he did, but I'll never know, I guess. Yes, cars are evil things, Mackenzie. A car has killed every single member of our family, reaching all the way back to medieval times. But they didn't have cars in medieval times, sir. Wagons, Mackenzie. Wagons pulled by horses. Oh, right. My bad. It is truly a sad fact. Not a single member of our family has grown old as cars have killed every single one of them. Wow, that is really sad. Yeah, well, see ya. Evil cars driven by evil men. I will find the person who did this to you, Josh, and I will make them pay for what they've done. The next day... Let's keep moving! I don't see why we need to keep going around and searching for the person who hit Josh with their car! It's so much work! Work? Tell that now to a dead Josh, Sky. Come on, do it! I don't want him to can't see that feels weird! He's dead, Sky. D-E-A-D, -E dead! I know, Mackenzie. I'm sorry. Let's keep going. Now remember, be aggressive and stern with these people. Aggressive and stern. Got it. Hello, children. It was you. What? <laughs> Sky? 
Mackenzie, can we stop going door to door and just ask the police to tell us who killed Josh? That sounds like a terrible idea, Skye. We need good ideas, you know? I thought it was a good idea. <gasps> I got it. Let's go to the police and ask them who killed Josh. Mackenzie, I love you, but I feel like you might be losing your marbles. I never lose my marbles. I keep them in a beautiful red bag, which I knitted by hand. Maybe we should get you to a doctor. I don't need a doctor, Skye. I need to avenge Josh. Now, come on. Let's go to the police. One hour later. Officer, we would like to see every file that you have on murder there in the back. Excuse me, Mackenzie? Get out of here. I will not. I am trying to destroy the person who killed a defenseless teenage boy. We have three files on murder, and they're all from 70 years ago. I know you know who did this. Give me the file. Mackenzie, calm down. Give me the file. I know you know who did this. Mackenzie, stop. All right, all right. I'm cool. Just give me everything you have the death of Josh. Josh? Josh who? He's, he's just Josh. I don't know. He's Josh. Oh, yeah. I remember that kid. Didn't he just die or something? Yes. I need the file to find his killer to avenge his death. We can't just give you one of our files or whatever. You're not a police officer. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? Mackenzie? I am the best police officer there ever was. Mackenzie, you're not a police officer. Give me the file. Mackenzie, stop yelling. Sir, we just need to use your computer Oh, cool. Okay, go ahead. We aren't getting food right now, Sky. We don't have time for food. I'm not looking at fast food places, Mackenzie. I'm searching through their system for their file on Josh. Wow, you are a genius, Sky. I know. I've been trying to become one for years. You've succeeded. So, did you find it? Patience, Mackenzie. Patience. Oh, right. I forgot. This might take a while. Got it. Awesome. We did it. Three hours later. A disgusting house owned by a disgusting man. What's the plan? We confront him and yell at him or something? There he is! Dylan McMurphy, husband to Katrina McMurphy, father to Tommy and Lisa McMurphy. Disgusting. Let's go get him. His family is right there. We can't yell at him right now. His family was probably in on it, Sky. We'll yell at all of them. Mackenzie, no. Let's wait a little bit. A little bit? How long? Many hours later. I think we can go now. Yeah. A few moments later. All right, ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Good, now let's get this sucker. Wait, we can't hit him in the head with an axe. Where did you even get that? It was in his living room. Whatever, we can't hit him with an axe, Mackenzie. That's wrong. Fine, we'll just be careful when we're carrying him and make sure he doesn't wake up. Okay, good, thank you. Moments later. There we go, he's awake. Huh? Huh? What's going on? Hello, Dylan McMurphy. Oh, uh, hello, young ladies. Uh, where am I? You're in Mackenzie's kitchen. Sky, we weren't supposed to tell him that. Oh, my bad. What? Why am I here? Because it's time for you to pay for your crimes. Crimes? I didn't commit any crimes. I'm a good citizen of Brookhaven. Is killing a person not a crime? Wait, is it not a crime, Sky? No, it is. There we go. You committed a crime. Oh, you guys are talking about Josh, aren't you? Yes, we are. We are talking about Josh. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know how we'll ever move past this. You'll move past this? How will he ever move past being dead? Yeah, I don't think he will. Exactly, exactly, Dylan McMurphy. Mackenzie, let's take a break before we get too into this. Whatever, I don't even care. Oh, uh, can I have some food? Absolutely not. Well, actually, yeah, I'll get you some cereal. You got Frosted Flakes? You'll need Cookie Crisps and you'll like it. No! Come on, Sky, let's get out of here. Wait, guys, my cereal! Hey, how's it going? Not good. I'm tied up and hungry. Cool, well, see ya. Man, this place is weird. One hour later. And then we'll make him eat asparagus. You're kind of evil, you know. No, I'm the hero this town deserves. That's one way of putting it. I'm going to put an end to his mischievous evil tendencies. He doesn't seem evil, Mackenzie. He's just a normal guy who made a mistake. Impossible. He's just a master manipulator who wants to go around and hit innocent people with his car. He's the car killer. That just sounds like he kills cars. 
cars. No, no, no. He kills people with cars. The car killer. It still sounds like he kills cars, Mackenzie. Whatever. I'm going to put an end to this monster. I don't know. I just don't think he's a monster. Well, then I guess you're a monster too. I don't think that's how that works. A few moments later. Hello, evil man. Good evening, Mackenzie. I never got my cereal. Only people who haven't killed other people get cereal. Ah, I see. What are you doing down here talking to me? I just needed a glass of water. Don't flatter yourself. I wasn't. I wasn't. Could I also get a glass of water? Or do you intend to make me die of dehydration? It's what you deserve, you know? Yeah, I do know. I probably deserve worse. I guess you were right in kidnapping me and tying me up in your beautiful kitchen. That's right. Right, but we didn't kidnap you. You're an adult. Adults can get kidnapped too, Mackenzie. What? Anyways, I guess I'll just wait here until I die or something. Fine, I'll give you some water. Thank you, my dear, and thank you for doing this to me. This has been a real reality check for me. I'm not a good person. I killed someone. Do you mean that? Yes, I do. I just wish I could make things right somehow. You know, why don't you just go visit his family and apologize then? Of course, of course I will. All right, go ahead then. Oh, thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you. Go, Mr. McMurphy. Go now. Huh? What's going on? I heard Sky, I let him go. He's not evil, I guess. I'm proud of you, Mackenzie. Yeah, I guess we'll just be able to move on with our lives now. Sure, we can just go back to being normal people who didn't kidnap a random guy. Exactly. Ah! Ooh, I wonder what's that about? Oh, probably just like a fire or something. Get on the ground now! You're under arrest for kidnapping Dylan McMurphy! Oh, right. We kidnapped a man. We're going to jail. Sky. He is so dreamy. He's pretty cute. You should go and talk to him. Are you insane? Hello, class. I need everyone's attention. Please welcome Bo to the class. He just moved here. Kitty, ah. you need to calm down, girly, or else you're going to embarrass yourself. Hey, that's the name, Bo. Happy to meet all you beautiful people. Bo, Sky, he called me beautiful. Mackenzie, sit down and relax yourself. Ah, but, but I can't control myself. This is like the weirdest school I've ever been to. A few moments later. Ugh, that was the most embarrassing thing that I've ever done. I feel like crying myself to sleep after that. He probably thinks I'm a weirdo now. Oh, yeah, he definitely does. Thanks for being so supportive. But he pretty much said that that girl is a weirdo. Ugh, this is tragic. It's okay, girly. Maybe you can try again in like a couple of months when he forgets who you are. Sure. Moments later. So, what should we get? I heard about your little outburst, loser. <laughs> yeah, that was so embarrassing. That little incident of yours must have been quite the scene. I wish I was there to watch it unravel and to watch you embarrass yourself. Who told you that? Shut up, Ashley. Bo told us. <laughs> Shut up, Ayla. Let me do the talking. Why did Bo tell you? Well, that's because I already have a date with Bo. So, ha, take that, loser. He was making so much fun of you. Yeah. He was so dreamy while he was making fun of you. Ayla, shut up. Don't talk about my mans like that. He's not your mans, loser. You're going on a date. That's hardly the same thing. Well, he will be after tomorrow night. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'll make sure to tell him how heartbroken you are. <laughs> Later, losers. Why does she get all the cute boys, even my crush? Because she's evil. A few moments later. Ah, that's him right there. Hide me, Sky. I'm embarrassed. Go and talk to him. I can't. I am way too nervous. Stop being a scaredy cat. I can't do it. Yes, you can. No, I can't. I don't even know what to say. Hey, Bo, can you come over here for a second? Guy, what are you doing? I can't believe you. <laughs> uh, where's she going? Um, uh. That was weird. She can be a weirdo sometimes. Interesting. But she's the best human ever. She's my best friend in the whole wide world. I wish I had a bestest friend in the whole wide world. Well, I, I can always help with that. Can you? Well, duh. I like that. I have to wait outside for my mom to pick me up if you want to walk me there and we can talk while I wait. Oh my god. I mean, yes, yeah, I'd like that. Okay, let's go. So, do you live close? By. Yeah, I usually scooter home. You scooter too? All the time. Me too. Moments later. So, girly, how did that go? That was so amazing. We totally get along. Better than him and Ashley, for sure. Yeah, he's deafs for you. I know, right? But how would you know? You weren't even there. Oh, yes, I was. I eavesdropped on the whole conversation. What? How could you, Sky? You can't say anything right now, girly. You 
you called me a weirdo. Uh, I guess you're right. All right, now we need to plan out how we're going to ruin Ashley's date with him. Later that same evening. All right, how on earth am I going to figure out how to ruin this date? Sky's ideas were so bad. They'll totally make me look like an obsessed woman. But I guess the internet is a good place to start. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. You better not be up to no good. I mean, it can see I don't want any trouble. I promise. Whew, okay, that was weird. Anyways, let's search up something. All right, how to ruin someone's date. One eternity later. These are literally no help at all. The internet has no answers. Ugh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this thing? Thing. <gasps> the dark web. Five minutes later. All right, time to do the dark web dance. Dark web, dark web, dark web. All right, give us all the information. Moments later. <gasps> Amazing. Already found someone and they look pretty trustworthy they've got lots of good reviews five star ratings over six thousand reviews all right perfect i think i found the one hello hey there sweetie i'm assuming you're phoning for my expert service that would definitely be so amazing meet me at my luxury apartment you have your own luxury apartment ah uh, i am the best there is that is really putting my mind at ease okay when should i come when the clock strikes 3 30 a.m deal see you then Later that night. Huh, I wonder where she is. Follow me. Where? To my secret lair. You have your own secret lair? What? That is so cool. Would you keep it down a little? The whole world doesn't need to know that. And I was just kidding. I don't have a secret lair. It's just my home. Oh, that's kind of lame then, but okay. No, it's not. Well, seems like it. Do you want my help or not? Yes, that's why I'm here. Then I suggest you be shushing your mouth before you annoy me out of helping you. I'm sorry. Come on. Follow me. Whoa, this is super fancy. Just take a seat. I will be back in one moment. Alrighty then. Moments later. Drink this. Uh, what's that? A solution to all of your problems. A drink? It's a potion. And yes, when you wake up tomorrow, you'll have 24 hours to solve your problems. Now, are you going to take it or not? Because I got things to get done. Hmm. You seem really sus. Well, you read the reviews, right? Some of them, yes. And what did they say? That you're the problem solver. Exactly. Now take this drink and shush unless you don't want to solve your little problems. All right, all right. The next day. Wow, oh, why do I feel so weird? My whole body is in pain right now. What is going on? Hey, Mom. Ah! What? What's going on right now, Mom? Why are you acting out? What on earth are you doing in my house? Well, um, let me think because I'm your daughter. Get out of here right now! Mom, stop! What What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? Away from you! Huh? Oh my god, what am I doing in Bo's body? Mom, mom, it's me! I don't care who you are, nor do I care. If you don't get out of here at once, you're gonna be a big trouble. Mom, I swear, it's me! Stop lying and leave or else I'm calling the police. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Oh boy, this is not good. A few moments later. Excuse me? What? Why was Bo over at Mackenzie's house? She didn't even tell me? I thought we were best friends. Oh, she is in big trouble, let me tell you that. Meanwhile. Oh, uh, I wonder what's for breakfast. Oh my god, I am so late. Wait, what the heck is going on? Why am I not in my own body? Ah! Meanwhile. Where's Mackenzie? I don't know, but there was this boy that was over and I caught him and he was acting super weird. What did he look like? I don't know. Did he have blonde hair and tall? Yes. Do you know him? That's Bo. Kenzie never told me he was coming over. Me neither, but he was lying to me and saying, I've got to go. Sorry. Oh, she is in so much trouble when she gets home. Having a weird boy over. A few moments later. Kenzie Grace Turner. That's not me, but yes. How could you lie to me and not tell me Bo came over? I was at Mackenzie's house. When? Stop lying to me. I am serious, girly. Our friendship is on the line here. I'm not Mackenzie. I'm Bo. Have you seen me? I mean, Bo. What are you talking about? I gotta go. I'll see you later. Wow, some friend she is. Moments later. Believe it or not, that's not the first time I've heard that today. Excuse me. Well, you have a lot of explaining to do because there was a boy here this morning. Really? When? Why does that matter, Mackenzie? Meanwhile. What do you want, Bo? And what were you doing at Mackenzie's this morning? She's lying to me and won't admit that you were there. Sky, it's me. What? Yeah, I know it's you, Bo. No, it's Kenzie, girly. What? Clearly, I have some explaining to do. Yes, clearly 
you do. One eternity later. So we literally swapped bodies for 24 hours, and I don't think he knows. That is crazy, girly. I know, right? I know exactly what we need to do. What? You need to totally mess with Ashley tonight. That is such a great idea. I know. That's why I thought of it. <laughs> Meanwhile. Ashley, I need your help. It's me, Bo. Why are you acting crazy right now, Mackenzie? No, I'm not kidding, Ashley. You have to believe me. You have to help me and stop messing around. I need your help right now. You're really starting to scare me, Mackenzie. Can you please stop acting crazy and leave me alone? I'm not crazy. I'm being serious. Why won't anyone take me serious? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. No, you can't do that. I won't let you. Mr. Principal Man, sir, please help me. Mackenzie's acting super crazy. Please help. I'm here, Ashley. Don't worry. Mackenzie, what's going on? I'm not Mackenzie for the last time. You're coming with me, Mackenzie. But I'm not Mackenzie. Later that night. So, Ashley, we should share our deepest, darkest secrets. Why would we do that? Because I won't be your mans if you don't. No secrets between us, like, ever. Okay, okay, well, my worst secret is... Wait, I'm not telling you that right away. We have to spend a little bit more time together before I do that. Oh, fine. A few moments later. So, I think it's time you tell me your deepest, darkest secrets now. Okay, okay, um, my deepest, darkest secret is that I, um, I'm a bad wetter, or I used to be. Oh, my God, that is so embarrassing. Oh, and by the way, I'm Mackenzie, and I'm definitely telling Sky and everyone all about this. Wait, what? Moments later. I cannot believe Ashley told you that. That's insane. <laughs> Let's just say the night was definitely a success. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow in your normal body. Yeah, you definitely will, girly. The next day. Huh? What? What the heck is going on? You'll be staying here for a very long time. Why? Because you can't just go around telling people you're someone else and act scary towards people. <laughs> I didn't do that. That is the exact behavior that got you here in the first place. 